before the camera goes. <laughs> are we ready? Yes, yeah. I think we're all good. We are live. Hello, everybody. Hello. And welcome Hello. to All Around the Board. Um, so, firstly, you cannot see us because, unfortunately, there is so much that is um, happening um, on this screen because we've had to fit the game in, which is really important. But it's really important that you guys also see this app here as well. Uh, this is the first time we've tried anything like this um, in terms of because this is going to tell us a story there's going to be some audio as well uh, of people reading I'm wondering if I can move this up here it'll make it better oh yeah that's better there you go it looks a bit nicer uh, oh and I can actually bring that over just a tiny bit so yeah there you go cool right so yes we're going to be using this app uh, just here for the forgotten waters uh, this is a storytelling game I mean the the actions themselves are not that difficult um, it's all about the story and how it pans out now yes there are going to be some spoilers ish but the main story is very linear but all the things that come out for example we have all these tokens which are expiration tokens they are going to differ depending on what comes out now there are two giant piles like this of locations that may come out in probably won't come out in the same order if you guys played it the main story though is the same uh, but it's kind of you kind of follow it you have to follow it linear anyway don't you right so we're going to have some encounters we have got our map down here hopefully you can see uh, this represents us this ship token um, and we're going to be sailing across the seas um you sound like you sung that yeah, sailing across the seas. Uh, yeah, to go and find uh, treasure, complete quests, um, face other ships potentially. So this is another ship that is going to be moving. Um, Jade's going to be responsible for the map over that side. Okay. Um, there are lots of jobs that are on the table. And we're meant to have, uh, well, it's probably going to have to be two each, really. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't get them in front of us and you guys see it. So this is the, the nicest we can set it up. Um, okay, so do you know what? We're going to be quiet and actually get going. So when you play Forgotten Waters, you'll just type... Uh, it's, it's got the web address if you buy the game, but it's f fwcrossroads.com, uh, and it will come up with this Forgotten Waters app. Um, install for offline use. Now, I couldn't actually get that to work. Um, I'm, I need to do some research for that, but for some reason, it was telling me to do this, and this should be there it should say install forgotten wars but it wasn't there so uh, i am doing this via the internet there are variants there's a solo and two player variant in there and if you run out of sheets uh, in your main box you can print more from here anyway we're going to play the game Don't oh also uh, yeah, no 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 we're, oh, yeah we're going to set up uh, click here uh, to access the forgotten waters remote assistant so this is something new i only i've just seen this today um so it looks like you can play it over the internet but yeah, some cool stuff. Here are some scenarios. We have one, two, three, four, five. Um, and I'm hoping there's going to be some more because this game is awesome. Uh, but we're going to go with the starter one, the Beyond Ocean's Edge. Yeah. So on our ship scribe, or J Jess is going to be our ship scribe. It's just off to one side. But basically we have written in um, our ship name, which Jess has called the, the U Unicorn. Yep, yeah, the Unicorn. And we just write on our sheet there, Beyond the Ocean's Edge. Um, and Jess is going to keep track on that. There is a sheet on the other side if you want to save your game, which is pretty cool. But no, we are just going to get going. There's some stuff there that Jess is going to control as we play. Yes. Yes. Um, so, the first time you're playing, you need to do view setup. Uh, is this the first time playing? Yes, this is going to be the first time. If you click no, it's because you've probably saved your game and you're returning. But we're just going to say yes, it's our first time. So there we go. It says scenario setup. You use your navigation tokens, which uh, we have done. They are face down and shuffled into a big pile. There's loads of them, though. And then we've got our special tiles I've actually just put here uh, to one side. In fact, if I move these over... Sorry, guys. I realise these are out of shot. There you go. Okay. Um, and then map setup. So you can see um, on this map here, it looks exactly like that does, or at least it should. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, okay, so we've got going on here. Uh, this is where our ship starts. We have a bad ship over here. 
Um, we've got some rocks in the water, I guess some kind of land, and there's a few islands that we can go and visit. That's what they look like there. Then it tells us the ship setup. So we have one loaded level one cannon, which uh, is just next to Jade. We have an, an unloaded level one. Oh yeah, these should be set to zero as well. Oh, I'll no, let Jade well, do that. Getting there, sorry. Jade's going to be that job. You may want to hold it as you turn the yeah. discs, otherwise they're going to go everywhere. Um, right, then we start with 10 supplies, um, which is marked with this barrel on this board here. Um, we have no discontent, so that, that starts at the bottom there. And our crew size uh, is 9. Uh, that's why this little face is here. Uh, and then our hull, uh, what is it? It's our hull track. Uh, we'll, we'll go there, yes. Uh, special setup. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we've got retrieve uh, object, objective card one, which we have. So this is the decipher the map objective card. Um, place the ship on the special location, which we have. We've put it out. All players, uh, treasure plus one. Uh, all players draw one treasure card, so we will get a treasure each, uh, and that's going to go into what we, we'll talk about treasures in a moment. But uh, Jess, you're just off of shot again. Uh, I think go, you're going to have to go. Yeah, there. There treasure you go. Card? So if you put oh. your treasure card face up, can I look at it? Yep, yeah. it's got to be face up for everybody to see. Um, we'll talk about treasures in a mo because they're kind of more individual things. Oh great, I've got a sack of mouldy fruit. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then write D, uh, sorry, write seeds of doubt on the ship's log. So Jess, you need to Jess, write this. Jess, you need to write what? seeds of doubt. Seeds of doubt. I'm just going to highlight it. That? Just on that line below. Uh, any one of the lines, yeah. Do it on top now, one. the reason why we're just yeah. writing seeds of doubt is because this game will use keywords or key phrases such as seeds of doubt, and you can only do certain actions if you have written seeds of doubt. Uh, doubt or uh, yeah. Yeah. Better. So Jess is going to be doing our writing, but bear with her because, uh, you know, she's only eight. So, you know, if she takes a while to write, then don't pick on her. <laughs> um, and then we've got special rules. If you are asked to read the entry space containing special location 962, uh, which happens to have that ship on, and another token, you only read 962. Um, awesome. Okay, so that means we are ready to go. So... Uh, have each player read the backstory section of their player sheet aloud, mm -hmm. filling in any blanks as they read with the corresponding word. So there. firstly, we're actually going to show you guys how we set up our um, character sheet. So at the moment, we have this blank sheet. Um, it will actually come in the pack like this, and then you fold it in half. So you've got some of your, um, your backstory will be in the middle, and you've got your um, top bit. Now, the fun bit, the very first bit is actually our character creation names. I'm going to show you how um, it works using mine, and then Jess and Jay can do that. So Where will I want to create it? your, yeah, to create your um, name, you have to roll two d12. So I'm going to re roll them now. Who do first? Uh, me. So I've got three times four, so that's twelve. So I have twelve and. Eight. Eight. Okay, so I can have ornery Ismail. Ishmael. I don't like that one. I'm going to yeah, re-roll that. that. That's a rubbish name. Uh, three times five, 15. Oh, shooty. Shooty something. No. <laughs> one times nine. Uh, shoot. <laughs> shooty shoo shoo. <laughs> no. That's yeah. Hilarious. I'm gonna, so I'm shooty shoo shoo. That's more like it. Uh, okay, shooty shoo shoo. Uh, okay, and then Jess, roll the two dice. So tell us your first number. Uh, eight times four. I don't know that. Uh, that's thirty-two. Okay, so 32. you're creepy, and then roll again. Creepy. <laughs> uh, ten times six. Ten times six. <laughs> creepy Mackie. No. Yeah. No. All right, re-roll re the second one because that's that. That I think. Creepy is quite funny. Uh, Ten. Creepy, creepy Irma. You could be creepy Irma. No. No. Or do you want to be? I don't want to be. Oh, creepy. what? Or what about Potty Mouth? What was the first one she had? Creepy. Uh, pot, potty Mouth Mackie. No. No. You don't want that one? Okay, try another one then. We'll, we'll, we'll try again. We'll, we'll come up with a name until we like one. Um, okay. Times Twenty-two. Two. So Gummy. 
You want again? Gummy. <laughs> Gummy. It's a pirate's name. Gummy. Ten. Gummy Irma. Gummy Irma's hilarious. I like that. It's fun. I like that. Well, it, they're, they're all funny names. That's well, what they are. Can we do the second one one more time? I don't want gummy. 88. <laughs> gummy. Uh, gummy Shandy. No. That's hilarious. That's well funny. Gummy Shandy. <laughs> Do you want that name? Yeah, I love it. Right, Mummy's going to be Gummy Shandy. You can go with your first one because you've had way too many rolls now. Why don't you be Potty Mouth, Potty Mouth Ir- Irma? Hey, do it, Are you going to have a look? All right, she's going to choose. Whatever. We thought we'd do this off. Shandy was that like alcohol? Shandy, yeah, like the Shandy, yeah. So what are you sorry? Yeah. Gummy Shandy. Gummy Shandy. Yep. Oh, I think Come. that one's better. Oh, go on then. Sleepy Jojo. Okay, Sleepy Jojo. Right. I like that one. You, Okay, there you go. Um, let's just pretend... Now, you don't have to roll for it. You can just choose. But I thought it was pretty Gummy funny. Shandy it's a randomised... Right, anyway, the next thing we have to do yeah. is inside is <laughs> our story blanks. So, um, just on the right-hand side, you just have to answer these as honestly as you want. Um, you can, and, and the funnier, the better. Um, so, for example, my top one says, a dangerous fish. Um, so, we're just going to answer these as if it were a quiz. Um, and, uh, okay. <laughs> and what will happen is we will be filling in the gaps What's using name, our things. Darius? My name is uh, Shooty Shoo Shoo. Mummy, what's your name? Um, my name is uh, Gummy, Gummy Shandy. Oh yes, you are, aren't you? Can you write it? Yeah. We will. We will get onto the uh, the main story in a minute. Oh, okay. And hmm. What's the um? I didn't get the third one. Hang on a second. Right. Okay. So. I just heard one say, um, a sinister symbol. Right. Once once we've done this, whilst whilst Jade and Jess are um, filling out the rest of their sheet, I'm just going to read you guys my backstory. As a child, I was left an orphan after me father and me and mother were tragically killed after eating an improperly prepared piranha. Years later, I found out the chef who made the dish had stored the ingredients in a pile of pig manure, resulting in my parents' demise. I killed the fool, then fled and took a new identity aboard a, sh- a pirate ship. Life on the o- ocean was is hard, but pirates don't make it no easier for themselves. They store their black powder have ha- oh haphazardly. They're always operating the ship while drunk on sprouts, wine, and then refuse to wear proper flotation vests while on deck. If it weren't for me, these salty fools would have been sunk ages ago. If only I could get Gummy Shandy to wash those hands every few weeks, we might just have a shot at becoming the best pirate crew on the seas. Um, do you want me to read your one, Jade? So that's my yeah. little backstory. Okay, there's a, there's a little bit of reading to for the initial setup, oh, but when we get going, it'll be fun. Diapers. Okay, right. So Jade's backstory is I've served on a dozen pirate ships under legendary pirates like Jonesy Two Eyes and the dreaded Mariah Snake <laughs> Tongue. Oh, the dr- dreaded Mariah Snake Tongue. I've led the charge against countless foes in battle and proven my worth as a shipmate and warrior, time and time again. I've amassed rare treasures like the Crown of the Eagle, the Crimson Cape of Kavalar, and the Gilded Blade of Sorazan. I've travelled to distant lands like Monastrio the Silent Salamander, the Forbidden City of Govara, and the Tomb of the Sleeping Pegasus. <laughs> this is Jade's cat, that one. Uh, I'm a true pirate with a love for the sea and an eye for adventure. And I ain't, as several of me fellow pirates continue to claim, a magically animated skeleton. These rumours continue to dog me and follow me from my ship to ship. Uh, me from ship to ship. But how could I possibly be magically animate, be a magically animated skeleton? That ain't possible. I'm a pirate and a damn good one. And not a magically animated skeleton. <laughs> Right, yeah, Jesse. Let's read your one. So, Jesse's backstory. I spent my life, as most pirates do, working my fingers to the bone on one ship or another, searching for treasure and easy prey. It was a simple life, and for a time I thought it was satisfying. 
Then Crow came into my life and turned it all upside down. The lad was an orphan, his family massacred by royal soldiers in one of their political wars, and he joined the crew in search of a home. He found himself a family, because we quickly took him in as one of our own. Joe Clicks taught him how to sail and navigate the seas. Cookie taught him how to turn any mess into a proper meal. And Gummy Shandy even taught him how to make fancy little figurines out of his excessive earwax. I especially took a shine to the boy and looked after him as kin. I found more joy in teaching him the pirate ways than I'd ever known in my previous life. One morning, I made my way back to the ship after an especially rowdy night in port, only to find Crow's bunk ransacked and the lad missing. We found a single piece of parchment on his bed with the mark of a pentagram drawn on it. <laughs> this is the only clue I have to find in me boy, and I've vowed I'll not rest until I do, or until the saltless cowards who took him have paid with their lives. Wow. For you. <laughs> she got one, didn't she? Yes. Oh my goodness. So, um, oh, hi, Emilia. Thanks for joining. We are just creating our characters. We haven't even started the story yet. So we've just read our backstories. Um, they're a bit long-winded, so don't worry about that too much. Right. So now we've read our backstory. We are actually ready to go. Okay. So hmm, let me get my die back. And also, I needed a drink because that was a lot of reading in one hit. Um, we are playing with three players. So we actually have the masked pirate. He's just off shot. Um, he's going to be sort of an AI character that whoever's in first place will con control. Uh, to start with, that's actually myself. I've got, I can't say myself, it's myself. Um, and we've also got the hungry pirates, which uh, will come into play as well. I think we are good to go. In fact, let's just go continue for this. In, ah, here we go. So we're going to play some audio. Um, for anyone watching, please let me know if this is too loud or too quiet, but we're going to give this a play and we're going to listen to it ourselves as well so we know what's going on. Right, let us know once it's finished if it was okay. Long ago, people spoke of a land called Sunset, a place full of honorable merfolk, powerful witches, towering monsters, and legendary pirates. A world that stretched so far and wide that not even the royal mounts could claim dominion over it. But as the years passed and the world twisted, the legend of Sunset faded and most forgot about its wonder. Most except Captain Jesbet J. Vance. He never for a moment questioned that Sunset was real and spent his life searching for it. Now an old man he has decided to set off on one last adventure to find the fabled waters of Sunset and has convinced you to join him. Your quest begins in search of the fabled Clearing Stone. Captain Vance is convinced it is the key to getting into Sunset. You have struck some luck in acquiring a map that should lead you to the stone, but none of you can understand it in its entirety. Because of this, you sail to Precipice Island, where an old friend of the captain may be able to decipher the map. The quest seems easy enough, but Captain Vance's previous adventures have made him some enemies, most notable of which is the Royal Mont family, who have hired the notorious Captain Razor to hunt you down. Ooh, okay, so... It says on the bottom here, we begin the first round on page 19. Uh, so yeah, we, we're looking uh, for the Fable Clearing Stone. Okay, we've got some little hints there. So when we begin a round, uh, we use this book that you can see up here. I'm just going to shrink that just a tiny bit. Uh, and we are going to be flipping it over. Uh, we have a 40 second timer, starting with the first player. Oh, there we go. We've got some sound effects. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to go start the timer. We, we know what our symbols mean, don't we? In this one, though, if we have Hungry Pirates, if that's on the page, then we do not trigger it. It gets triggered automatically. All right. We're going to explain what's going on once we've done it. Okay? Ready? Yo. Three, two, one, and it's purple first. So we're going to look for some keywords. Um, so my, my main character goes first and 
Oh, do I want to go to the market, the abandoned houses, the tipsy tortoise? What am I really good at? It's I'm a really tipsy good at tortoise. I'm good at swagger, so I'm going to go to the top one with my fur. Oh, why has it not started? No, right. <laughs> now I start it. Uh, sorry about that, it didn't start. Right, then my second guy um, can go on to the abandoned houses. Yes, I want my exploration up. Right, then it's on to pink. So, pink, what would you like? Um, I'd like to go here. Okay, that's cool. And then. What? What do we need? Jade. Is there anything um, that we definitely need to do? Uh, buried treasure, but you, you've only got one treasure. No, there's no Work problem. the ship, or you can try and find some random goods. We've got uh, 12 should we seconds. Do, should we do the captain's mission then, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. The captain. Uh, and then, Bye. right, we are done. Bye. So, if we hadn't decided on those actions within that time, then this, uh, oh, here it is, we've got discontent here. Uh, that would go up. Um, which obviously is not a good thing. Um, I think it says... Does it say on the timer? No, it doesn't. Um, if discontent and the the crew meet, then we lose. Okay, there's a few other ways we lose as well. The hole goes down. Uh, what's the other way we lose? There is another way, isn't there? Oh, I can't remember. There's quite a few ways. When, when we see it, we'll come to it. It's been a while since we played, not um, it? Right, so now that we have selected these actions, you can't quite see my character, but I am on the top. Uh, might zoom it out. Uh, we are going to activate them in number order. So I'm going to take my purple piece off. And it says uh, I get to go to the market. Swagger plus one. So on my sheet, if I'll show you guys, um, I've got some uh, things I can trigger. So it says, for example, swagger. Um, I'm going to be crossing off the first box. And you'll notice there's a grey star. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that grey star once I've crossed it. So I go swagger. Uh, cross it off, and then I can go for... Ooh, which way should I go? Let's go this way. Okay, so, on as you can see, I have crossed off my swagger, and then up here, there's a black, uh, black bordered star. I can put a dot coming off of that star. Um, so you can see that I've put a purple dot going north. Every time you hit one of the exclamation marks, you're going to take an exclamation mark and token... And then when the app prompts you, you can then go ahead and read one of your constellation events, which is going to give you some extra stuff. Very clever how this works, actually. So uh, Karen, watch it, but I don't get any constellation events right now. Um, so I've got swagger plus one. Right, then what can I do? I can roll a die. Um, I just roll my one D12, which I have here. And I can add any swagger that I have on um, my... Treasures, and on my board, plus my die roll. Uh, I don't have swagger, but if I did, it would have the swagger symbol with a plus one. Uh, at the moment, I've got plus one in exploration and brawn. Um, so I'm going to leave that one there, but nothing in swagger. So I'm going to roll the die. I got a 12. Wow, on a d12, I got a 12. And then I get to plus one, so that gives me 13. Awesome. Choose three market options below, so I can either get supplies for the crew... Uh, we've already got full supplies. We are on full. Uh, I can gather news from the locals, get a re-roll token. That sounds good. Uh, get something nice, spend one supply to gain one treasure, if I want to be a bit selfish. Mm -hmm. Get yourself something nice. Get a cool haircut, spend one supply to get infamy plus two. <laughs> I, I mean, infamy is... Uh, I'm already on the top there. Or get a cannon, spend two supplies to gain one loaded level two or lower cannon. Oh, that sounds good. You can do two of those, can't you? Right, so that, yeah, I, no, I can do three. three of these. So, do you know what? I'm going to spend two supplies and I'm going to get us, for the whole crew, because, you know, we're working together, uh, ish, kind of, um, spend two supplies to gain one loaded level two or lower cannon. So let's do that. Is it loaded, yeah? Yeah, we're going to have that loaded. Uh, that will give us, what, plus five attack? Plus five attack. If we come across any bad guys. Um, my second action, I think I'm going to get supplies plus two, so I'm going to add to it, uh, and then I'm going to get a re-roll token, because re-rolls are going to be very nice, especially if I roll ones, which I normally do. Yeah. Okay, so that's my go. Then it's on to the orange dude, which, because I'm highest on the infamy, I get to trigger that as well. Um, abandon houses, so I get exploration plus one. Um, I've also got Exploration plus one on my treasure card, so I've got two. Did you get a star? Yes, I did. Did I? I, I thought I saw one. Yes, I, I did. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, you're right. 
and I'm going to see what my check is. So I'm just going to roll. Uh, no, oh, sorry, six, seven, eight. So what can I do for eight? Yeah, okay. Treasure plus one. Okay, so if you get a treasure, you just come down here. I grab that and discard this to gain supplies plus two or upgrade one cannon. Oh, that's good. So I've got another little bit of treasure there, which is good. Um, I think that's my go done. So now, Jessica, you're up next. So take your character back. And I'm going to let you know what you can do. So, uh, imitate the barkeep. Crew plus one. So, this is our crew up here. Oh, so we have ten people. We've got ten people on our ship, yeah. Uh, you get brawn plus one. So, why don't you put a little cross through your brawn um, on your character ship? Hook. Yeah, with the hook, yeah, that's it. Um, just put a cross on there. There? Yeah, the first, uh, the first column, yeah. Uh, then perform a brawn check. So what you need to do, Jess, is roll your die. Just roll it onto here. See what we got. So that's seven. seven. Eight from that. And have you got anything special on your treasures? Uh, um, I've got this so. card to gain a name. Oh, no, not that one. That's okay. Plus one or, or, or supplies two plus oh, two. No. Sorry. That's okay. Right, so... Uh, now, Jess, so God's Jess read, um, oh, where is it? She got an eight, didn't she? Yeah. She gets to read. She, no, she got a seven. She got a seven, yeah, but plus her one that she crossed off. So she gets entry 300. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to have to type, I'm going to have to type this in, I'm afraid. 300. And we're going to go, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have some more audio. I don't really know where to put this. I'm going to have to put this here so just so I can do the numbers. Okay, so we're going to play some more audio. Here we go. Give me a drink on the house, you snarl. Make it quick and maybe I won't beat you so badly. I'm a pirate after all. The barkeep stares at you with a blank, unresponsive face. What aren't you getting here? You demand. I want a free drink and I want it now because otherwise I'll beat your face. I'm a pirate, see? A delicate tap on your shoulder causes you to turn around, at which point you meet the barkeep's loyal regulars. They aren't pirates, but you crawl away terribly impressed at the high-quality beating you receive at their capable, calloused hands. Okay, so Jess, you get number 24, which is a disfiguring facial scar. After you gain this card, you get misfortune plus three, and infamy plus six. So unfortunately, Jess, you've got some misfortune, um, which isn't great. Basically, is is giving you a big old scar on your face. Her character actually has a big old scar. On it does, face. but how how fitting actually? <laughs> right, Jess, they're your misfortune tokens. Yeah. But her infamy is plus six, which means she goes all the way to the top of the infamy track. So if that stays at the end of the round, you're going to have the extra action, uh, which is really cool. Okay, so we went and fetched that. Right. Um, okay, hang on a moment. You've also got some extra... Is that... Sw That's swagger. Swagger. So Jess has got extra swagger from getting that. No, 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 you don't no, cross no, no. it. No, no, oh. don't cross it. It's, uh, it's uh, on top of. Yeah. Right. Um, also, re-roll... Oh, you get a re-roll token as well as. So there you go. As well as Smith's Fortune. And lock action three. So if you ever lock an action... What Not did I do it. with them? Yes, there they are. I'm going to lock that. You cannot perform that action anymore. They, do, they can sometimes unlock. <clears throat> yeah, no, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Right, then we're going to skip all the way down to Jade has gone for the captain's mission. So if you'd like to take I'm that back. I'm probably going to regret that, aren't I? Uh, fill in the next captain mission box on the ship's log and read the entry. So captain mission. This one? No. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. top one. What's it top called? One, what number? Read entry um, 048. 48. Zero My ticket. Yeah, ticket. 48. Okay, so we're going to type that in there, and we're going to go yaw, and we're going to have some more audio. Gathered around a fire, you and some of the crew listen to the captain read from one of his books. Our witches have a ten, ten, he says. Despite their ability to shapeshift, each form they might take will still carry the blackened spot upon the back of their neck. Beware the mark, for it means a witch in hiding. A witch in her true form is an allured and hideous sight. Pale violet skin, eyes that glow like starlight, and... The captain's voice trails off as Big Henry begins to snuffle. 
tears rolling down his cheeks. What is it, Big Henry? Vance sighs. I think I'm a witch, Captain. The large man bawls, pointing at a mole on his neck. Big Henry, you're not a witch, groans Captain Vance. Now, all of you listen to me. I ain't reading this for fun. You'll understand soon enough, but this stuff could save your lives one day. Everyone grows silent and listens as the old man picks up where he left off. Awesome. Jay, you gain one skill of your choice. So, uh, let me just go ahead and cross one of those. If it says you can gain a skill of any of your choices, you can uh, fill in any one of those in the leftmost column that you can. Don't you need um, to press done? I think. Yes, I do. I'm going to go with hunting. Okay, so Jay, oh, Jade's going to do some hunting stuff. So, what will happen is as we get more and more skills of certain types. When we're doing certain battles or we come into contact with whatever we may, it we will then start looking at who's better at doing what. So, for example, if we needed food, you're hunting. If we need to persuade somebody, we need someone with good swagger. If we need to beat someone up, we need someone with good brawn. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of skills that we can use, and whoever becomes better at those skills will give us more yeah. chance of, of winning stuff. Right, we are done. So... Uh, you'll notice that all of our character, characters are finished on the book. And at the bottom it says, round end, re, uh, read 808. So here we go, 808. And we're going to go, y'all. Right, threat. Oh dear, here we go. So threat plus one. Um, if we have two or more threats, when it triggers, we are unfortunately going to have some bad stuff happen uh, starting with a player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise each player with one or more constellation event uh, token resolves their constellation we haven't got that have we uh, right then the highest infamy player which is Jessica you can choose one of the following are we going to stay here and lose crew or are we going to leave leave oh, we're going to head off are we Okay, that's entirely up to Jess because it says the highest infamy. So we are going to leave. The highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Now, this is where it could be quite risky because we are moving into uncharted waters. Where our ship is down here, we can move to one of these three hexes that are next to us, but we haven't previously explored them. Um, we haven't... There's, there's an exploration. Yeah. In fact, is it... Uh, oh, no, there was no way of doing that on here anyway. Um, we were in the town, so we are actually coming out blind. So we could come into contact with something that we weren't expecting. Right, Jess, would you like to move south, west or east? Okay, she's going to go east. Bear okay. in mind, we may want to get around I these. I we should probably go here. Yeah, I mean, it's okay, absolutely... We'll are you sure? Because... We kind of need to get down to this so that, island. Yeah, yeah, so you need to be able to go around that. If we go that way, we're going to we're, end up coming over we'll, here. We'll get blocked. Okay. I mean, the only other thing is we could go through the clouds and go there, but... But we might get a lot of stuff we yeah. don't really want. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if this boat starts ch chasing us on the tail, then maybe we'll have to we go have, that way. In previous right. games, we have gone through those clouds, haven't we? Unfortunately, uh, we then randomly reveal 006. So... We have, it looks like a, it's quite sunny. It's calm. Is that a sun or a moon? I don't know. It's a sun. But um, yes, it looks like we're going to... It gonna, doesn't really... Because it's white. I don't we're going to be coming into contact with somebody, but we don't know if they're hostile or not. So well, let's have a... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. Read the following to the player with the highest hunting, which is you. Yeah. You've just gone hunting. So, Jade, this, this is The waters are you. so crystal clear. You can see a sunken ship below the surface. It's not too far down to be out of your reach. Excited at the prospect of loot, the crew prepares to dive into the waters in search of treasure. But you stop them and point out at the many small fins that crest the water. Caution's needed here, you scurvy gits. There's grim snappers out there. If we dive, <laughs> we might not all make it back. Excellent. So, Jade, keep the crew on board and sail past the wreck. Or join the crew for a dive because treasure. Probably <laughs> join the crew for a dive. Are you sure? Okay. Are we, yeah, for real? Well, yeah, well, yeah, we're okay. too it's safe. It's entirely we? your choice because you're the one with the highest hunting. Yeah, so, I'm yeah. going to go with that. Okay. So, remove navigation token 006 from the board, uh, from the game even. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, yeah, yeah, take it out entirely. Uh, in infamy order, each player may roll a die. On a result of 10 or higher, you get plus one treasure. 
and a result of two or less, crew minus one. Uh, right, not Jess, a bad thing, starts is it? off. <clears throat> yeah, roll your die. All right, roll, roll that. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get to that check threat. She's on six, so that's a. Uh... That's nothing, I'm afraid. Well, that's better than right. losing stuff, I'm gonna, though, isn't I'm it? I'm gonna try and grab some stuff. I got a two or lower. Oh no! So we so lose, we lose one crew. crew. Well, that's okay. There's less people to feed. Um, <laughs> and then once. Uh, oh no, and James. Yeah. yeah. See what you got. Eleven. Yes. So you get, get plus treasure. one treasure. So just grab it from the front of that. Uh, that's nice. What oh, did you get? Are you filling a star on your board on your constellation? Discard all your misfortune tokens. Oh. That's I awesome. Well, I can help okay. That. Cool. Uh, okay, so then we check threat. So if the threat is two or more, we would have to unfortunately do the, the okay. threat. But um, luckily we do not have to do that. Uh, what happens if we do a check threat? I can't remember. Hang on. I'm going to have to brush up on this. We've done that before. We've had to check a threat <clears throat> before. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had to do it quite often, actually. Uh, check threat. Don't think, I don't think it's on there. Check threat. Hang on a minute. Sorry about this. One Let's second. Page three. Yeah, did, did it say that? that? You, Jess, it said uh, somewhere gold. in turn to turn to page three. Oh yes, yeah, we, yeah, we will be. Oh, okay. But the fact that it said check check threat. I mean, I know that it's if it's the the same or more. Um. Oh, there you go. Check and threat. When a game effect causes a player to gain or lose one or more threat, uh, the lookout card removes. Uh, when directed to check threat, if the number of the threat tokens on the meets or exceeds the current objective threat limit, check off the next unchecked threat event on the ship's log. Oh yeah, so it's on Jess's on Jess's um, ship log there, and it could be some bad stuff. Page three, was it? Yep. Okay, are we ready? So three, two, one, and let's you start the timer. Go. It's actually Jess, and she gets the extra worker. Um, so that goes first. Don't worry about the hungry crew one. Yep, yeah, we we don't do hungry crew. I'm going to put this one on here. Okay, so you're going to go to the captain's quarters. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this one on here. Chart of course. Okay, and then it's me. Uh, do I want to ready the, or do we want to hunt? Oh, we've got loads of supplies. So maybe I will. Uh, talk to the crew actually and I have to go there so you'll have to sail so if there's a red one and nobody's gone there already um, oh let's go done yeah if there's a red one that hasn't been done then some the last person has yeah. to go there the hungry crew however is automatically done so it says here when the hungry crew action appears on a page no player may choose it instead the lowest infamy player resolves the hungry crew hungry crew action. Hungry. So Jade, choose one of the following. Do you feed the crew? Do you ask them to go hungry? Or do you let them raid the supplies? Feed the crew. Okay, so we would spend the number of supplies equal to the current hunger. Which is four. Uh, it's five. Oh, is it still five? Yeah. Uh, you, you're okay for this? Yeah, we'll just have to get some more. Okay, yeah, we discard, will have to. I can discard this and get two. Um... If you do not have enough supplies, you can't choose this option. Uh, anyway, so you get Infamy plus one. So you're actually going to go up on the player order past yeah. me now. And um, Discontent minus one. But Discontent's already as low as it goes. Yeah, so that's fine. So that's cool. Um, okay, so then it's on to Jess. This is actually your character. So you've got Charter Course. Get Exploration plus one. Uh, what is it? Exploration, so it's oh, top, top one. Not navigation, like no, I did before. No, not you did before, yeah. <laughs> is it, top, is that's it? it? Yeah, that's it. And you, and, get then, and you can cross off a dot. One circle on your... Next to the star? Next to the star, yeah. yeah. why not? Uh, right, and then go on, then have a little roll. Have you got any bonuses for exploration? You don't, do you? Do I roll it? Yes, no. yep, yeah, roll that. Oh, try again. It was it was a bit on its side. There you three. go, three. Uh, what, plus four. this one? Is four, yeah. So what Jess gets to do is she gets to scout two spaces that can either be off of the hexes around where we are Oopsie. or off of a previous um, token. So you could, for example, scout this space, then the space after, or you can scout two of the spaces around the side. So maybe you want to scout there and there. You could scout behind us, you, but there'd be no point in that, really. You could scout these two, because they, they might be the two we ne move it's to next. almost the path we need. No, no, you don't move. No, don't move. We don't you move. scout it. When we scout, you're going to get two tokens. Uh, we put them one there, and then one there. In fact, I don't think we can do that, because that one hasn't revealed yet. Let's have a look, actually. Just quickly, see if that's allowed for scouting. Uh, da -da -da. 
Draw an evocation token from the face down pile and place it face down in empty space. Uh, that is either adjacent to a ship's face or previously placed navigation. Complete this for how many spaces? Ah, yeah, okay. So now you flip them up. So she can do that. So let's flip this one face up. Uh, it's another ship. And then, oh, there we go. So we've got a hazard. Even if we could move three spaces, if we went into something with a red uh, warning, we'd have to stop there. Well, that's um, good because now we know what's there. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, doo -doo -doo, what are we doing? Yes, so she's so done her exploration. That was Chotter Course. Then we have to do this one. Nope, it's and your... Daddy first. It's, oh, yeah, it's my one. Uh, so, I'm going to talk to the crew. Uh, I choose two of the following. Trade with the crewmate. Uh, get a reroll plus one or discard a treasure to draw a treasure. Uh, have a drink to get swagger plus one. I think I am. I'm going to have a drink with my pals so I can have some more swagger. Um, uh, what else could I do? I can challenge another pirate. Choose one skill and one other player. Both of you and that player must perform the check of the chosen skill. Whoever has the highest result gets infamy plus three. Uh, I'm not. Oh. I'm not at the point where I want to start stealing treasures. I don't think off you. anyone is at the point. Really, um, oh, so do you know what? I'm going to get a. I'm going to get a reroll token. Okay. I'm going to be nice. I'm right. not going to. I'm not going to rob you yet. <laughs> Back to Jess with the captain's quarters. Yes. So six. Uh, fill in the next captain quarter box if you want to go and do that on there, Jess. Right, so that's the middle box. And read the, bit in there. the number. Zero four captain's three. Captain's quarter. Zero. Zero four three. Four three. Yeah, the top bit. In the oh. midst of being in the middle. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's do this one. I'm begging pardon, Captain, you say, knocking on the door to his quarters. I was hoping I could speak to you about this sailing past the ocean's edge business. Some of the crew be worried, Cow. Oh, stop you right there, me matey. He interrupts. Vance points to a group of books lying on the table. All these I swiped from the Bond family when I was a boy. They speak of the land of sunset. A world of unimaginable riches and magic. And everyone shares such similarities that I'm convinced they ain't just coincidence. But how do you know they ain't just stories, Captain? The Captain sighs, as if he's explained this all before. I'll tell you what, me matey. You settle the crew down a bit, and I'll fill you in on some more. Once we have a moment to rest up on land. You nod and walk away, feeling no better, but you still do your best to calm the crew. Ooh, discontent minus one. So that's good. Fine. Um, and then gain one skill of your choice. That's so, Jess. That was Jess. So, so it's one of these ones. Yeah, what what do you want to get better at? Uh, well, you're doing a bit of exploring, isn't she? Uh, she seems to be our explorer, yeah. Yeah, so if you cross off on the explorer, it means you get another star to, uh, to uh, colour in. Do I just do this? That's it. And yeah. then colour in this one here, because you want to get closer to oh. the exclamation mark. Does she get No, she doesn't, no. No? She's one away. Oh, okay. She's one more away. That's fine. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, and then, Jade, you are sailing. So you get navigation plus one. If you add that onto your... Add, add it onto your sheet. Oh, navigation. Oh, it gives me a star. Yep. Uh, do you get any... No. No, no constellations. Okay, and then you're going to do a navigation check. So roll the die and add, add one to it. Nine. Nine. Okay, where are we? Uh, infamy plus one. So you're actually going to go to the top of the infamy track. Um, and then you may spend supplies and or hull to move the ship. For every two supplies and hull spent, uh, move the ship one space. Now, do we want to skip past that thing and go to the bad stuff? Um, we'd end up possibly with not many supplies to start with. No, we won't do that. Um, or do we want to, I don't know, if we want to use like one of each, maybe, um, just to move on to the next space. Well, if I discard this, it gives us two supplies. You can do. So what, that, and then use that to, and then to move on? And use that to move on, yeah. yeah. okay. If, if, so if, you, if, if you're happy that, to do that. Where do we put discarded ones? Uh, just down here. Uh, so we move on to 23. So we're just using the ones that I put in? Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. We've moved one space and we, we've sailed down. Now we've got to do end of the round, which is 800. Yeah. Now, guys, we will be coming across some bad stuff. Um, it's pretty easy sailing at the moment. Um, right, threat plus one. Oh, dear. Okay, here we go. 
Threat to plus one. Starting with the player with the highest infamy, which is now Jade. What a shame. And proceeding clockwise, each player with one or more constellation event tokens must resolve them now. No one's got them yet. No. Okay. Did the ship move this round? Yes, it did. And what number are we currently Zero, on? Zero, two, three. Thank you, Jay White. Okay. Let's go. A royal frigate approaches, Summer. and you oversee the crew responsible for loading the cannons. Ooh. A muffled, gurgling scream from behind you steals your attention, and turning, you see two men dressed in all black and soaking wet. The royal insignia covers their left breasts, and you realize <laughs> your crew faces some new threat heretofore unknown. Sails! Captain Vance bellows. Unfurl the sails! Flee, me matey! <laughs> we must flee! Oh, blimey. Okay, so... It does say, read the following to the gunner. We haven't actually assigned um, roles, have we, really? So well, what we, I'm what, kind of doing well, that anyway. If we've so. got something where it says the gunner chooses, we'll, we'll do choose it. it between us. Well, no, we'll just go for the, the vote. So if two, two want yeah, one okay. and one well, want the other. The thing, yeah. So we can either leave your crew to, uh, to their fate and run the, to the sails and save the ship. Or engage the invaders and save your crew. Save the crew. I want to save the crew personally, Jess. Save the crew. Save the crew. Right, we're, we're all on the same thing there. Okay. Determined to help your crew, you bravely engage yes. your marine opponent. When the last one is cut down, you breathe a sigh of relief. Oh. But notice there is now no escaping the incoming ship. Oh. So remove navigation token 23 from the game. So you can take that away. Uh, hull minus one. Oh god, so they've got us. Uh, brawn plus one. Ah, that's why. Uh, shall we see who's got the highest roll? In fact, we'll do... What, for brawn? No, no, just roll the die, in because yes. it should have been the yep. gunner. Should have been the gunner. Let's do this. So, five, five, four. Me and you will re-roll then. I've got nine, right. so me. Okay then. So, that we shouldn't have done that. It should have been whoever the gunner is, but we to get it all into camera, we had to put it like this. So if we've ever got something like that, we'll do it based on highest roll. It's randomised anyway, so uh, infamy plus three. Oh, okay, I'll take that then. <laughs> well, I was I was first player for a while. It was, yeah, just for, and then turn to fifty five. Right, okay, so that way, now given the sound effects and the way that we've played this before. We're going to have some bad stuff going on, so mm. this is going to be quite exciting. Okay. Oh, is Hawkeye written on the ship's log? Jess, have we written no. Hawkeye? Yeah. No. Right, so you got to write Hawkeye on there then, does she? Oh, right. No, no, no. Set dial A at To five, five and set dial B to six. Five. Oh, dear. Okay. Six. Bigger. Right, okay. okay. So we've, we're going to have um, a timer. Uh, it's going to be me with the orange guy. They're now, me. bearing in mind, we're going to have to. F it sounds like we're going to have to shoot them. Um, you can hear some battling going on. So, are we ready? Yeah, go for it. Three, yeah. two, one. Let's go. Uh, we've got some warning. Can you quickly uh, read destroy that? Destroy the enemy's hull if you want to the sink hull. them. Yeah. And um, take out their sails if you want to board them. Okay. Take out the sails. Uh, so we want to load cannons. Fire cannons. Uh, who's good at firing? Has anyone got aim? No. Nope. Um, no. Okay, I'll do it then, and I will fire the fire the other one as well. What shall I do? Okay. Um, quickly, though, because we've got twenty four. Oh, I'll, I'll do this one. Uh, what's that? Rally the crew. I've got a clue. <laughs> um, hang on, we've got gather debris, escape. We don't want to escape. escape. So gather debris. Gather Jess. debris. Yeah, get some hunting stuff. Go on. Right. I'm done. All good. Oh, that was that was um, tense. Okay, so there we go. There are our actions that we've chosen so uh jade you're rallying the crew swagger yeah. plus one put a plus one on your swagger. swagger yep and then perform a check so anytime you do a check just roll the die and see what you got add any uh, one minute it's two, two plus one it's three three ah that's not great choose one rally at option so you can either get a re-roll choose another player that player gains a skill of their choice of your choice sorry choose another player that player gets re-roll plus two or reduce either of the dials by one. Now I know this sounds silly, and I but do you want to give me some aim so I yeah, can I'll give you some so aim. I can fire the uh, fire the cannons a bit better? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I've got two goes. My first one is uh, aim plus one. 
So I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to re. I'm going to roll this. I've got some re-roll tokens. Uh, don't forget that Jess has got some misfortune. So, yeah, when she I, does some rolls. I oh no, we got two. I'm re-rolling that. I'm re-rolling the two. So I spent a re-roll token. Three. I'm re-rolling that as well. It wasn't much better. That's was awful. It? Come on. That's better. Twelve. Get in. Plus two. Fourteen. 14. What can I get for 14? Reduce targeted dial by 2. Oh, let's say I was targeting A then. Right, so uh, I'm going to 3, yeah? Oh, well, there you go. The hole. There the hole. Yes, please. Um, okay, so I've done it by 2, and then I get infamy plus 1, but I'm already on the highest. Then I'm going to take my second go using that, that other guy. I've got which, aim which again. Which are you targeting with? Yes, I forgot that I was meant to target first. I've got token i am going to target the hull again i think because that's their main that's their main yeah, ship which ones are these? the hull a oh sorry it's you up there yeah right so let's go i've got three plus nine twelve uh reduce the targeted dial by one not too bad no okay um sounds like oh i'm so sorry I could have added a bonus to my rolls. So, in fact, that, that first one, I'm going to keep it as it is. You know where I made it 12? Yeah. I'm actually going to add plus 3 to that. So, I'm going to fire that small cannon to make it 13 instead. So, reduce it another 1. Yeah. And I'll get infamy plus 1 again. Um, so, we can use cannons to yeah, add to that as well. It, yeah. That was good. So they've only got one hole. So we're pretty strong at this point. Jay, uh, no, Jesse, gather debris. So you get hunting plus one. So add to your hunting. Okay. okay. And, and then perform a hunting check. So that's just roll your die. Well now, done. unfortunately, when you do a hunt, hunting check with misfortune, you've got to roll this one as well. Roll both. And then you take the lowest and remove one of those. Um, so you're going to have to, unless you, want, five. Unless you spend your re-roll, I don't think the re rolls are that no, good. No, because she's going to re roll this. Do you reckon? If she re rolls, then this one will become higher. Yeah, but then if she needs to re roll later on something better. Yeah, but given that she's got a 12 and yeah, a 4. Yeah, okay then. She's guaranteed to go much higher, isn't Do that, she? Then. Than she than rolls the orange one again. There, there you go. go. That's eight. A bit better. So nine. Eight, nine. Okay, uh, that was for gather debris. So nine is choose two gather options. Jess, you can get one supply, one treasure, or one re roll. Re-roll probably best because she's got but misfortune. She gets two of these and she may choose supplies and re-roll multiple times. So you want two re-rolls, do you? Yeah. I'm just thinking because she's okay. got a misfortune at the moment, it might okay. be a low roll. Uh, right, round end is eight to six. So here we go. We haven't defeated them, but we are giving them a good old go. Did the ship move this round? No, no it did not. Is dial A at zero? No. No. Is dial B at zero? No. No. The attack. Roll a die. Uh, go on, Jess, you can do it. Okay. It does it. Yeah, just, just roll, roll a die, yeah. Uh, eight. eight. Which is this one, eight to eleven. Reduce the whole crew and or supplies by a total of four. Ah. Jeez, wept. Okay, well, should we do maybe two supplies? Yeah, one hull and one crew. No, I wouldn't even go one hull. Well, it's up to you. Do two crew, because you've got... Yeah. One, two crew? Yeah, because we've only got four food to spend. Okay. On. We've got only seven crew. If you're sure. Are you I'm, sure with that, I'm yeah? I'm not, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. So, we want this cr this crew to not meet this discontent, because otherwise there's a mutiny and we lose. Um, so, we've got to keep that nice and balanced. Right, we're going again then. So, because we didn't go anywhere we have got a 40 second timer to yeah. play again are we ready yeah. who's in first oh it's still me okay no I'm not ready. okay right i'm ready three two one go we kind of know what to expect this time don't go we on. yeah i know uh, i'm gonna i think Play i'm gonna six. fire a cannon once Five, uh and then i'm gonna I'm, I'm uh, gonna do that. Don't do that one. load the cannons yeah. okay i'll do this one yep yeah. and jess you'll go I am going to do this one. Okay, you're going to gather debris again, yeah? Okay, so hopefully you'll get a higher result. See, that was a bit quicker because we know what we were doing that time. Okay, so J Jade, you're up first. Yeah. So, swagger plus one, then perform a swagger check. 
So I do another plus one on the yeah, swagger. Yeah, if I always say pl swagger plus one, yeah. you add to it, yeah. Oh, I've got a contribution mark. Yep, yeah, you grab yours then. There you go. Just keep that for one minute. Right, roll the die, see what right. you get. One <laughs> plus two. And oh my goodness. Roll. You get one rally option, so you either get a re roll, choose another player to gain a skill of your choice. <laughs> Choose another player, that player gains re-roll plus two, or reduce either of the dials by get, one. Um, you get aim. You sure? Well, won't it be better, because we're doing this still, aren't we? Well, I'm still firing a cannon, but I was going to... Oh, okay. If you reduce their hole by one, then I can attack their sails and see what happens. Yeah, okay, well, let's do this by one, then. Yeah, so then yeah. that way they're definitely... Their hole's definitely gone, but I'm going to go for the sails anyway. Okay, so that's that. You happy with that? That's fine, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got this one. So load the cannons. Choose two of the following. Spend one supply and flip a cannon from its unloaded to loaded. Shall I spend a supply? Because mm. I was gonna, I was gonna flip one of those. I could discard a misfortune tokens, but I don't okay. have any. Okay. I'm gonna flip this uh, level one to its flip side. Uh, then I'm also gonna get a re-roll token. Just so I'll get a decent roll, hopefully, in a bit. Uh, and then, that's that done. We are going to fire the cannons. Aim plus one. Uh, who? Which one should I target? The sail, by any chance? The sail, you can target. Yeah, I know. Them. Yeah, and we're going to flip... Uh, before, roll, oh, before rolling, we should have flipped that cannon, but never mind. Let's flip the plus five. Plus five, yeah. Yeah, so we've got five. Plus four is nine already. Oh, Roll that's that cocked, again. yeah. Six. Uh, that's 15. Is that the highest we can get? Uh, yeah, go on then. We'll go for it. So 15 it goes. Um, 15 on this one? Sorry. Hang on. No, sorry. It goes down by two. I was going to say, yeah, that's that goes, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got to hold it when you yeah, turn it. No. Yeah. Um, by two, yeah? Infamy plus one. Yes. Okay. okay. And then that's me done. Just so not Jess over. Jesse, you're hunting again. So get give yourself hunting plus one. See what you get. Uh, okay, thanks for those who are joining uh, the like stream. Um, hope you're very well. Come and say hello in the chat. Right, okay. So we're then you've got to do a roll. We're currently battling so against uh, roll a those crew. Two. It's the frigate, actually, isn't it? Not the tart frigate. <laughs> right, okay. Ooh. She loses a misfortune, but yeah. she can. I would Well, that's higher than that anyway. The so one, it'll be. Well, you take the lowest. One. Well, why don't you one. re roll? Because that one's not going to be very good. Oh. Well, then, fall, just... yeah. Go yeah. on then. Go on then, Jess. Why well, re roll this one? Yeah. yeah. That's better. That's better, so it's five. Uh, so, plus. Six, seven. Hunting. Seven will get our oh, just. So, you get two options, Jess. You can either get supply plus one. Treasure plus one or re-roll plus one, but the supply and re-roll you can have multiples well, of. Maybe We're really low on supplies. Supply. So you get two supplies. Two supplies. Okay, uh, then that is you done. So let's get to the round end. Which what was it? Eight to six. Eight to six. Let's see what we what we got to face here. Did the ship move this round? No, it did not. Yes. Is dial A at zero? Yes. Tries the enemy crew as their boat cool. sinks, but you all grunt in disapproval. We have both! They cry, Welcome aboard! <laughs> you call back. <laughs> we have booze. <laughs> uh, crew plus two. Excellent. Uh, the highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry listed on the new place. Well, where do you want to go, Derry? Oh, do we, we go, go for it? Shall we? I, I mean, I kind of don't want to because that's... We can go around it. Got a big warning. Yeah. yeah, but to go around it, we're going closer to the enemy. Okay, well, let's just go on to it then. Yeah, okay. Zero, zero, one, zero. Yeah. Oh, let's see what we got. What I got. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is the perfect storm. Dark grey clouds roll in and cover the sky. Thunder rumbles and the wind intensifies. Oh. Sparks of light flash threateningly. Perfect! Cries three-legged Pete. Come on, mateys, help me with this. Trust me, I've done it before. The crew helps Pete load a cannon onto a rowboat and lower it into the water. What the hell are you doing? You cry. Trust me! Replies Pete. There's no time to explain. Okay, so this is to the gunner. Should we should we roll first to decide who the gunner yeah. is, yeah? Okay, uh, nine. Seven. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> okay. 
Although I was the gunner on the last one, so but, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. But it's, oh, so do fair, I it's do I stop Pete? The cannon is too valuable to bet on his crazy idea, or let Pete continue with his plan? Oh, do we trust Pete? I don't even know who Pete is. <laughs> Maybe we could do the vote on the option, but then the person who rolls the highest gets the bonuses. Yeah. Um, who wants to stop him? Who wants to let him continue? I'm quite happy to let him continue. But I'm quite let him happy. Continue. Yeah, I'm quite happy for him to continue. <laughs> okay, with his plan. Let's hopefully we trust the him. The robot floats out into the approaching storm. Oh, excellent. Suddenly, lightning strikes it. The boat shatters, <laughs> sending the cannon down into the depths. Oh dear! Oh, no. As you watch the cannon disappear from sight. It is suddenly replaced by dozens of electrocuted fish floating up to the top of the water. Net them up, you cheer. Oh, remove navigation token 10 from the game. Yeah. Remove one cannon. Or should we get rid of the unloaded level 1 cannon? Yeah. Because it's pretty bad, isn't it? Um, I mean, it's pretty useless. And it also says supplies plus 4. Oh, we get 4 supplies. That's good. That's good. That puts us back up to 8. And uh, set dial A equal to the number of players. So three. Yep. You can put B back down to zero now, by the way. Because we, we're done with that scenario. Okay. Um, turn to page 11 and check threat. Ah. <coughs> Jess, no, we've got to... No, hang on. We've got to check threat. So, cross the top one. Okay. What number is it, Jess? It is 791. 791. Yeah. So page 11, wasn't it? A sickly looking parrot crashes onto the deck. The crew gathers around it, thinking it's it is surely it's dead. dead. Oh, 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 the poor little blighter. Blubber's sad Sally. Stop your weeping. Captain Vance chuckles as he pushes everyone aside. This here is the old parrot Flapjacks. And believe me, he will outlive us all. What is it, me boy? Flapjack jumps to life. Rustling the sad patch of feathers on his back. Razor on the move! The parrot squawks. <laughs> Razor coming for you! Coming for you all! The crew gasps, fearing what Captain Razor would do if he found them. Let's get moving then! Captain Vance <laughs> shouts. Discontent plus one. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, move special location token 9621 space towards the ship. Which way? Here or uh, there? We'll put it that way because then it's behind us. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, da, 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 what else? Uh, so what's the ship? Are the ship and the special location token on the same space? No, they are not. Thank goodness. Remove all threat from the threat track. So it seems that every time we get lots of threat, I think that's going to end up moving, isn't it? Right, go on then, Jess. Flip to that page. 11? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to have a timer as soon as you flip it over. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Uh, who's the first one? Me. So... Uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to aim in. Chart a course? Yeah, I'll chart a course. And then I will also talk to the crew. My swagger's pretty good, so I'll do that. Right. Jade. I'll go here. Oh, you're going to set sail. Okay. Well, there's probably a me? Point Jess can do better than yep. me. Interesting. Interesting selection. And that was quite. That was done in quite a quick time. Right. So, chart a course. Um, exploration plus one, which means I get a star. I'm going to go up that way. Uh, where are we? Then perform an exploration check. Let's see how far we are checking. Jess, that's yours. Okay. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, I'm happy with that. Scout three spaces. Okay, so which three are you going to do? Uh, uh, one, two, three? Yeah, I'm going to... Pick no, I'm not actually. Yeah. I'm gonna pick that one. Yeah. This one. And this one. And the, that one, just in case we've got to go round. I'm flip them, yeah. Yep, yeah, flip them over. Oh, looks like it's clear sailing for the. No. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, we've got a ship right in front of us. Not good. We're gonna get beaten up, I think. In the words and of this one. Depp, not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, then that, that's me done with. Uh, then I've got my other, my orange dude to do. Uh, I get. Sw oh no, I don't get any swagger. Oh yeah, hang on. Calm the crew's nerves. I get swagger plus one, which oh, I will. He's getting a lot of uh, improvements there, isn't he? I am a little bit, aren't I? Um, and then, do I want to trade? I can discard one treasure to draw another treasure. 
Mm. That's quite good because it might give you something better. Nah, these are pretty good as they are. Oh, okay. So I'll get a reroll. I'll just get a reroll plus one. Okay. Done and done. Jess uh, is yeah, it Jesse? Yeah, sure. yeah. Jessica, you get the captain quarters. So fill in the next captain quarters box on the ship log. Uh, zero four four. Yeah. Zero four four. Yeah. Which is forty four. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. You run past Captain Vance, trying to hold back your tears. What's wrong, me matey? He asks. I don't want to talk about it. You blubber, salty tears running down your cheeks. The captain sighs. Your heart got broken again, didn't it? You give a sorrowful nod. Lordy be here, one of them pirates of the new generation. Always talking about your feelings and whatnot. It's, it's not fair, Captain, you sniffle. You give someone your heart. You don't expect them to just hurl it back in your face. Captain Vance chuckles at this. I had me heart broken once, he says. Beautiful lass, my Esmeralda. Smartest little thing I ever saw. Hair red like fire. And she set a fire in me bed, too. <laughs> I loved her, I did. The lure of me life's quest took me away from her one time too many. She ended it, of course. I still feel the pain of it right here. And he taps his chest. You sniffle and wipe your snotty nose on your jacket sleeve. How do you get over it, Captain? Several pipefuls of crystalline sour cat mushrooms. Hallucinated for 13 days. When I came to, I was wearing a new bear pelt and nothing else. And had the legendary treasure of Captain Ernest Bird whistling me hands. But, uh, in your case, I just stick to letting some time pass, okay? Yeah, okay, Captain. Okay, so Jesse, you get one skill of your choice. Um, I will take... Ooh, aim might be good because it get you a star or navigation. Uh, I'll have aim. Aim, yeah, that's a good one. And then you'll get a nice, uh, another upgrade because you get another star. I will okay? go this way. Right, that one is done. So then Jade, you are getting navigation plus one. Yep. What's your navigation like already? Uh, it's already one. Well. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, then you're going to do a check. So, 10, 11. Nice. Any other bonuses? No? No, that's it. Okay, 11. Oh, hang on. Jess had one more misfortune, didn't she? Oops. Oh, no. It's all right. She well, didn't so do she a didn't check. Roll, no. no, sorry. I was just looking at if any of you have misfortune tokens. No. So, 11 is infamy plus one. So, you go back into first place. Yeah, I won't be there, buddy. Just in time. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I will. Yeah. yeah uh, you may spend supplies and hull. And for every two supplies or hole that you spend, we move the ship one space. Uh, now, do we go a, sort of through that and around it, or should we just go and should we go and hit it head on? Hit it head on. I think we did pretty good on the last attack. Yeah, I mean, you look how good you're doing on all the stuff you've got. My aim is way up there. Jess so. isn't doing too bad. I'm not doing that great, but it's, 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 some... better, it's better than nothing. Okay, so should we just spend two... Two, I'd say two supplies. Yeah, two supply because we can get supply okay. quite easily, can't we? Two supply. Let's move. Let's move there then, shall okay, we? Okay, zero four, zero zero four. No, we got to do round end first. Oh, okay. So eight zero, four, eight zero four. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, threat plus one. Okay, interesting. Uh, reduce the whole crew and or supplies by a total of X. X equals the value of dial A. Which is three. Oh, none of us man the sails. Whoops. Starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise, each player with one or more... Oh, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Um, right. Crew or hull or supplies, we've got to reduce by three. Ugh. Should we do one of each? Yeah. No, oh, well, what about one of those and two of those? Yeah. We, we can get the food back Because the hull, if the hull goes, then we're dead. Um, and we all sink and we're out. Right. Have we got any constellation events? I've got one. We've yep. all got one. So yours, yeah. yours is first because you're first, the height. Yeah. Okay. So spend your constellation. Yeah. Um, you're gonna fill out the next if, for this bit. If we just do what bonuses we get rather than the story bit because really, it's kind yeah. of yeah, it's kind of not relevant. Okay. But treasure plus two. So you circle it Hang off. On, number three. No. What? I'm reading what the thing is. Treasure plus two, but I need to read oh, what okay. the person is. You put me, didn't you? Shoot, you shoot up for both of you for different things. You gain a misfortune token. What? Yeah. What are you doing that for? Is that it? I didn't mean to. No, I get two treasures. Two treasures? Oh, nice. Treasure plus two, yeah. Okay, there you go then. So there's your two treasures. Cool. Jessica, what's in the inside of yours? So, if you flip that over. 
Um, you've got. Again, one it? treasure. Infam. Infamy. Yeah. You gain treasure though. I just realised something. Who was in the last place? Jess was in last place, wasn't she? Yeah. She was meant to do Hungry Crew. Oh. Can we not do it now? Uh, well, she would get discount. Well, Jess, do you want to go? Do you want them to go hungry? Let them raid the supplies or feed them. If you feed them, we're going to be spending loads of supplies. In fact, we would have run out. Um, ask them to go hungry. Discontent would go up by two, but your swagger would go up, and your infamy was already low enough. Do you want a swagger and discontent? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we should have done that, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's my treasure? Right, so, yeah, so what have you got? Did you cross off, when you crossed off that swagger, did you colour in a spot up there? Yeah, you meant yeah. to cross off the top, the top spot, just yeah, in there. Just colour that in. Circle that. But if you just got a swagger, did you cross off the star up here? Oh, uh, no. What did you get? Did you get an exclamation mark? Um, yeah. I've got crew minus... Is that for next turn? Crew minus one. I have no idea. Is that for the next one? What? She just gained one while doing that. Oh, no, then she'd read that one. Just read, the, we'll read the next one in a minute. Let me finish yeah. this one. Discontent minus one. Okay. Uh, and then retrieve yeah. card 56 from the deck. Ooh. I get a special thing. Right, Jess, do your next one whilst I'm getting right, my item. So your next one is... So look. Oh, minus one so swagger, but two. You get a reroll. Yeah. Just colour in that exclamation mark in that second one. Cool. And get rid of that. That's it. And you're done on those. Okay. Um, awesome. So that that's those done. Um, I have this reflective vest that basically, uh, when the ship would lose one or more crew, you may return this card to the story deck to lose one fewer crew. And then discontent those minus one, so yeah, we would yeah, because they they're getting close now. Uh, did the ship move this round? Yes, yes it, it did. Yes, it did. Two zero zero four. Zero zero yeah. So that was bad stuff, and then we've now got more bad stuff. I keep forgetting the hungry crew bit. We it's have to fine. do that. Well, that's because that traveling across had two the calm had waters, waters brings you to a reliable royal merchant route, and sure enough. A plump merchant vessel bearing the flag of the Bumblebee Delivery Service can be seen in the distance. You work together to overtake them, and soon Captain Vance is calling for boarding parties. Look lively, you lot, he cries. We've got a beautiful bee ahead of us, and it's laden with pollen. <laughs> right, remove navigation 004 from the game. Flip a loaded cannon to its unloaded side. Uh, should we do the... So oh, it's the only one. Oh no. Um, if you cannot, hole minus one. Set dial A to six. So pop that to six if you hold it. Yeah. Uh, and then turn to page 53. Oh, jeez. Uh, this doesn't look good, does it? No. Right, Jess, you are getting the extra worker. Yep. Thank you. I've got me and Jess both have misfortune. So any tests now? Before we flip it, we can sort of predict what's going to happen. Loading cannons going to be a big thing, I think. Yeah. So, I if, if I can do that. Yeah, we might have be able to load both, and maybe if if you could leave the firing one to me, because I've got you've aim. Got, you've got massive aim, haven't you? I've got aim plus four. Yeah, Jess has only got one. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two. Oh, hang on. One, go. Jess first. So I am going to do this. Uh, to do this. You're going to recruit. Oh, it doesn't crew. actually do. Does it do load cannons? Oh, fight enemy crew. No, loot, loot, cannons. loot cannons. I'll do that then. Oh, hang on, leave me with that one because I've got I've got a good aim. Okay. So if you want to do what you were going to do. And then I'll, I'll do this. Parlay. Parlay. No, don't do parlay. Well, that's okay. with the, that's with the captain though. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, uh, Jade. Um, do you want to fight the crew? Yeah, go on then. Fight the crew, and then I'm going to loot cannons. All right. Wow, we have five seconds left. So, Jessica, with the extra guy, you're going to parlay. So, swagger plus one. you got to roll Put both swagger guys. Um, She's got to roll. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. Use the orange and the um, pink one. I just one. put pink and a colour. Yep. Okay, so roll both pink and orange. Because you're going to take the lower one, but then at least you get rid of your misfortune token. Uh, I'd really roll. Yeah, really well. You go re roll that one, so she's got eight. Ooh, three, th 
three, four, five. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I think, to be honest, even if she went higher, actually, have a re-roll back, because even though that was one, one to ten is read 501. Oh, so either way it would She'd need be 11 a plus, yeah. so that would have been horrible, wouldn't it? So 501 then. 505. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that properly. Read 505, here we go. So Jess tried parlaying. My friends! You call out to the barricaded enemy crew. I believe it was La Rochelle who said we are all captain of their own heart, so long as they have the courage to follow it. It does take courage to follow your own heart, especially when your captain is yelling at what? you. Tell me, which is more pleasing to you? Your heart urging you to save your own lives and surrender, or your harpy of a captain who's never given a damn about you a day in their lives? Can you tell me? The answer comes minutes later. When the head of an enemy <gasps> captain oh, no, near... no, ignore that. It's not 505. You were right. It was 501. I thought it was. I thought that was a bit too easy. Your negotiations could have been better, but at least they've offered some treasure. <laughs> I thought, hang on, we've just won. We've just gone there and won. Right, all players must simultaneously vote on the highest infamy. Oh, highest infamy breaks ties. So, right, let's all put a thumb in the camera. Just there, so yeah, you're in. Oh, in fact, your fist. Right, thumbs up option. Stop boarding the ship. Or thumbs down, reject the crying captain's offer and continue the round as normal. If we stopped boarding, it would be supplies plus two. All players get a treasure. Set Darway to zero, then immediately resolve the end of round. Oh, that'd be good, we do that. Yeah, but don't we want to... Oh, I don't know. Don't we want to recruit crew and load their, loot their cannons? I don't know. That's, well, anyway, it's up, it's up to everybody, up to isn't you, it? Yeah. Right, so thumbs up if you want to leave and thumbs down if you want to keep getting all the good stuff. Okay. If we leave, we don't get any actions. Yeah, Just bear okay, that in mind. Okay. So, three, two, one. Yeah, so thumbs down. Continue as normal. Right, this is Jade. What You're you fighting the enemy crew. So, brawn plus one, and then do a brawn check. Oh, okay, let's see what you got. Seven. No, eight. Uh, right, so you reduce dial A by one and get a reroll token. There you go. Uh, what are they on? Oh, it's five. Okay, right. What's the next? Who's the next person? It's Jesse again. So you have got no more misfortunes. That's good. Okay. Um, you can recruit crew. So swagger plus one. Okay. Oh, you swag can't can't. Do it. No, okay, that's fine. Okay. Then, if action two is chosen by one or more players this round, perform a swagger check. So, go on then. Re perform oh, a okay. swagger check. Jay did do yeah, two. Oh, 11 11. plus two, that's 13. Wow. Crew plus two. And an infamy. Inf she's already two. the highest on the infamy, but we got two crew from that. Well done. Because you recruited the people that were fighting. You've asked them to come and join our team. Uh... Oh, there you go. Daniel put recruitment. Go for it. Thumbs up. Oh, we all went thumbs down, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, right, loot cannons. So I've got to get an aim. So my aim is full now, so there's no point in me choosing yeah, these. Yeah. If action two is chosen by one or more players this round, choose two of the following. Um, steel gunpowder. Supplies plus one. Steel cannon parts. Upgrade one cannon by one level. Get one loaded level one. Or read... Oh, okay, so I'm going to give us one supply. Yep. And I'm going to try and steal a big cannon. <laughs> Read 509. I want a big cannon. That would be awesome. All right, let's see what we got to do for it, though. Uh, okay. You would just wheel the stolen cannon over to your ship when you realize there's someone hiding inside the barrel. <laughs> Granted, the barrel is wider than most, but there's no way you could fit inside. What the blazes? <laughs> How did you get in there? You demand. Mm -hmm. Man, it was easier getting in than out. She confesses. They call me Skinny Tammy. But this time I fear I wasn't skinny enough. <laughs> Will you help me out? <laughs> I shall be grateful. Uh, do I help her out? I might end up thinking she might then run off with a cannon. If I've... She's inside oh. it. How could she then get uh, out and then grab it and run off? Because, I, no, it says help her out. Of the bat of the thing, but then she might come out and fight me, and then I don't get the cannon, or I could just fire her out of the. Oh, cannon. you know that's what I was going to say. Fire yeah, I'm going to help. I'm yeah. going to help her get out by firing it. Yeah. 
Hold on, Tammy! You say as you light the fuse. Wait! She cries. I'm, I'm... You see what she means for the cannon fires, putting a skinny Tammy-sized hole through the hull of the other ship. Aw, nuts, you moan. <laughs> but hey, sweet cannon. <laughs> right. Perform a I, check. Yeah, I've got a brawn check. So I had misfortune, which I spent. So let's see what my high... Oh, I'm going to spend a re-roll, but I'm going to choose to re-roll the three. To an, oh, 11, 11. That will That's do. That's right then. So what have, we got, what have we got for brawn wise? Uh, brawn is one. So That's I've, 12. Yeah. Oh, 10 plus. That will do. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Gain one unloaded level three or lower cannon. Yeah, let's get a level three. Damn. Yes. There you go. It's always good for the big, big cannon. Uh, oh, Daniel said, yeah, help. In what way, though? Because I fired her out of it rather than <laughs> greased her up. Better than a skinny t Skinny I love that, I was brilliant. <laughs> but this time I wasn't tall. so skinny. <laughs> uh. All right, okay. Uh, who's next? No, that's it, isn't it? That's it. So, 825. 825, here we go. Oh, sweet mother, cries a horrified crew member of the other ship. They've killed little Gertie. You look down at the burly woman you just ran through with your sword. <laughs> I love you all. She gasps. Be, be true. To each other. She gives one last <laughs> wheezy gasp before her eyes gloss over. Monster! cries another crew member. Holding a fist in the air, he begins to chant, Lil Gertie! Lil Gertie! Others of his crew join in, and you begin to feel awkward, standing there with your sword stuck in the woman and all. You pull him <laughs> free, but the ensuing mess you make only incites the crowd further. Mark my words, you beast! Spits a woman with patches over both eyes. We will not soon forget this vile deed! She was the best of us! She helped me turn me life around! Helped all of us! Oh, there shall be a response! Blood for blood! Revenge for Lil Gertie! Revenge! And all of her crew including one or two confused members of your own crew, take up the chant. Oh, okay, so infamy plus three. Which means you're back to first player. Oh, sorry, Read the, this was to the person with the highest brawn. You just done it, though. It was, it was your go. No, this is the end of the round. Oh, who's got the highest brawn? I've got one. I've got one. Jess has got one. We've all got the same. Mm, what's the tie? Oh, it'll be infamy, so it'll be Jess. So Jess, you get infamy plus three yeah, and a re-roll. She's already there though, isn't she? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Right, reduce whole crew and all supplies per total of X. X is the value of A. Five. Holy damn. Okay. We're we'll, we'll what? Oh, we'll do it by... No, we'll whole supply, yeah. So should we lose two crew? Because we gained two crew last time. Yeah, okay. Two supplies? Yeah. And maybe one... Yeah. Hold. Uh, I'm wondering because we're gonna have to redo this. Oh, the highest infamy player moves the ship. So Jess, you get to move the ship on. Move so it's twenty-five. Do we go to? Sorry? Oh no, do it to nine five seven. Yeah, because that's our goal. If you look at this, it says reach precip uh, precipitous. Uh, re re can't say it. Uh, the island. That's not the one we've got to get no, to. No, six three. We've got to get to that one, but we might as well stop off there at nine yeah. five seven. Okay, so we are kind of we've kind of met this island that was there from the beginning. Is painted cavern written on the ship's log? Mm -hmm. Just you got it on the wrong side. No. No. Okay. Do I put it on? No. Are we ready? Yeah. Red Rock Island, quaint little village, but not much to see here. We best move on soon. Ah, uh, threat plus one. Uh, turn to page 39. Uh, locked actions two and three. Okay. 39. It's be this way. Got it? Uh, we've got to lock the two actions, unfortunately. Return all revealed navigation tokens one. face down to the pile. Okay? Yeah. Uh, two and three. Right, we have to... Sorry, what navigation things did you go to that We way? have to get rid of... All other navigation tiles. Okay, so just pop oh, they have to go. Uh, there, don't they? Face down to the pile. So let's put them at the pile Boom, at the back yeah. of the yeah. And then uh, we are going to check threat. Unfortunately, threat happened. So, Jess, can you read us that number? Uh, 
792. 792, yes. Okay, here we go. Another visit from the parrot Flapjacks warns you of Captain Razor's approach. Captain Vance rewards the parrot with all the maple syrup you had on board, which leaves you wondering how Flapjacks has so long lived. The next day, old Cookie is furious that Flapjacks left nothing behind for his famous saltwater waffles. <laughs> saltwater waffles? What was the, the one that we were Oh, that's fine. I just realised on the one that we were on, I thought, oh, did it have Feed the Crew? But it didn't. Thank goodness. Right, discontent plus one. Oh dear. Uh, supplies way. minus one. Uh, move special location nine six two one space towards the ship. So we move it that way. Um, are the ship and the special location nine six two on the same no. space? Nada. Remove all threat from there. And start again. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So let's go with. Um, this well, yeah, we got to do the actions, haven't we? Who's the highest? Jess, you get the extra dude. Are we ready? We can't go to those two. We can't go to two or three, mm -hmm. which is kind of annoying. But okay, are we ready? Three, two, what? one, go. Um, shall I go with the top one for this one? It's entirely up to you. Gets oh, you have it. That gets you swagger. You've already got your I'm swagger all the way up the top. So maybe you want to work towards. Go for this one? It's up to you, but a drunken duck. Um, this one gives you navigation as well, working on the ship. Done. Um, Me. You yeah, go on then, Jade. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go bury treasure because I've got treasure. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to the the market myself because I haven't got swagger, but you've already got full swagger, haven't you? So. Mm. Okay. Right. So, swagger plus one. Uh, I'm gonna get a another one of these tokens. Uh, if I can. Oh, should have thrown that one away. Um, then, what have I got to do? I've got to do a roll. Now, I haven't got any misfortunes. That's good. That's a seven. It's just kind Fair of rubbed enough, off. Yeah. yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But it's ten because of this. What can I get for ten? Choose two market options. Uh, get supplies for the crew. Yes, I'm going to give. You, I'm going to get us some supplies. And I'm then going to do that again. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe do that again. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Then spend one supply, because then I can get a pirate power of my choice, uh, cards one to six. Do you remember these pirate powers from the first time we played? Oh, yeah. After you gain this card, all players who control one or more of these pirates gain reroll. No. So I can either have a monkey. I was about to say, I had a monkey last time. A, gum a grumpy guppy, a, a hangry hippo. <laughs> Awesome. Ah, that gives me brawn. What am I really good at? Aim would be pretty sweet to have. Yeah, I'm going to go with aim. Um, so, my aim is plus two. Well, that's not bad. On top it? of... So, at the moment, no matter what I do, my aim is going to be seven. Before yeah. I do anything else. Okay, on to Jess. Yeah, Jessie. You get... Explore, explore, I'm not no, sure she doesn't. Thing, yeah. Challenge some pirates to a drinking contest. Crew plus one. That's pretty good. Brawn plus one. Let's uh, get yourself a brawn. Yeah, the one with the hook. Look there. With the hook. Oh, yeah, sorry, Jess. Then perform a brawn check. Right, roll your die. Has she crossed it? Yeah. Did she get a star for no. it? No. Let's have a look. Eight, Eight. nine, ten. Short ten. Ten? Okay. Uh, Read entry happy with four, that? two, one. Four, two, one. See what we got then. Let's read. Let's have a little read. Your hulking opponent scoffs at how small you are next to him. Two large cups of rum are plunked down in front of you. He swallows his drink in seconds, belches, then declares, Ah, your turn! <laughs> you smile at him and take a large swig from your glass. You watch him as he begins to wipe sweat from his brow and look around nervously. Ah, oh, don't... Feels so good. He slurs before <laughs> succumbing to the poison you slipped him. Looks like I win, you declare proudly. <laughs> so Jess gets... Me plus three, but she's already there. Yep. And uh, lock... lock action for... Oh, is that it? Oh, no. Well, actually, no, it wasn't just that, because she had brawn. So she got brawn. She got quite there. a bit out of that, actually. <clears throat> okay. Then back to Jess. 
Yeah, so Jesse, you're going to work the ship. So you get two of the following. Repair the hull. Um, you get hull plus one. Scare off the pesky goats to get a supply. Infamy plus three. Uh, chart a course to scout two spaces. Um, or rummage through the other's belongings. Choose a player who didn't choose work the ship. So that can be me or mummy. Um, steal one treasure of your choice from that player. Uh, money. Or, well, so you don't want to repair the hull or get supplies or any yeah, scouting. Repair the hull. Uh, you could do that twice if you wanted to. What's desperately needed? Uh, kind of supplies. What if you did the supplies and did the hull? It's up to Jess. What about if I did mummy as well? You, mean you get two hull. options. Two options. Hull, why don't I hull's do looking supplies? pretty low. To be fair, Jess, this treasure one is really nice. Yeah. One buried in it. Oh. She's gonna do a she's gonna do a hull. What what treasures Danny got though? Uh, I've got one that gives you plus one brawn, uh, plus yeah plus one brawn and plus one exploration, or I've got one that discards to get two supplies or upgrade a cannon. Do, uh, do you want my machete? It gives me yeah, plus one brawn good. and one exploration. Yeah. Good. And then I'll do the supplies. I've put the supplies up. There you go. Yeah. Rude. Stealing off me. You're given the chance, wouldn't you still? Jade, you get to discard up to two treasures. Yeah. For each treasure you discard, fill in one star on your constellation. Do two. So I cook in two. Yeah, no can go I? Here. Yeah. Do you get another token? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And that's yours, and you've buried treasure. So every time you get to an island space, you can bury treasure and. Um, I just I had two there handy. that I'm not going to use, and if I do need them, they'll be like later, later, later in the game. It's silly having them. Mm. Right. Okay. Threat plus one. Starting with a player with the highest infamy and players clockwise. That uh, go clockwise. We have to do our constellation. So Jess is the highest infamy, she but have one. yeah. So I have got one. Uh, I'm going to steal one treasure off of another player. I'll have my machete back, please. <laughs> And then I get infamy plus two. I like that, you shaky. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I get infamy plus two. Yep. And two re rolls. Uh, sorry, infamy plus two. Ah, oh, so you go to the top. <laughs> How annoying. Right, uh, right. So do we stay and lose crew or do we leave? I mean, bearing in mind, three of, three of yeah, the actions are locked. Yeah, we may as well leave. Are we going to leave, Jess? Yeah. Would you like to leave? Uh, yes, leave. Okay. Uh, the highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Jade, that is Where you. Where should we go? Uh, head towards it, I'd say. Here? No, that's right not here. towards it. Right that's here. towards it, yeah. Here. Uh, but unfortunately, it's random. Uh, zero, one, five. Okay, that's not good. That's not good, guys. Here we go. Yeah. You enter a troubling fog that rises up without warning. An ill omen this be, says the captain. He turns to you and says, So, matey, let us test your skills. What should we do when facing a foul gloom such as this? Uh, highest navigation. So it's you anyway. Oh, I've got highest okay, navigation. Okay, you do. Yep, yeah, me and Jess have got none. So, advise the captain to stay the court to stay the course and push through the fog or advise the captain to slow the ship until the fog passes what do you want to do number one you're going to advise the captain to yet yeah, stay okay so let's go good choice matey we could see for miles before the fog so we know it's clear ahead no point wasting time on a fog that will vanish any minute remove the navigation 015 from the game infamy plus two I'm already at the highest. Oh, yeah. Uh, turn to page three and check threat. Well, threat's fine. Let's, Let's take those off first. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bef hang on. Before we do that, um, guys, I, I don't, know, don't go to it just yet. I've really got right to the loo. So, pause for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here thinking I need to go. Now, we've got a little bit more of the story. Um, yeah, Jess, talk amongst yourself. Let people. Oh, in fact, Jesse, while I'm going to the loo, let everybody know on stream what came today, what got said. So, um, where is it? There. So, this Put it under there. came today. It's Ticket to Ride, the base game, 
we got it for 25 quid off Facebook, is it? Yeah, and it got t- delivered and today. And it got delivered today. Um, it's in mint condition. <laughs> it's, it's in cellophane still. We'll open that later. Yeah. Um, and I think soon we're going to start our Ticket to Ride series. Yeah, I think we are, yeah. That was quite fun. <laughs> Did you realise that this is like drawn? It looks a bit out of place in the uh, picture, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got all of it looking very sort of nice. Nature-y, yeah, and then you've, and got, then you've got, got this that. duck holding a bottle of wine. I think they just thought it was funny to put in there. Yeah. Oh. So they just did, you, did you tell everybody? Yeah, yeah, she told everybody. Oh, awesome. All right, so I am back. Let me just climb over. There we go. We were just saying how we think that duck is really out of place in the whole picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, to page three. Yes, and then we would have to start the timer straight away. Okay, are we ready? Really? No. Wait till she finds page three. There you go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Jade, you're getting the extra work of this oh, time. Yeah. Oh, blimey, the first time this game, oh, isn't it? open it up. Three, two, one, go. go. Have we got any warning? Staying at sea too long will put a lot of wear and tear on the hull and the time is going. Go! Oh, okay, so, uh, ooh. what am I going to do? Chart a course? Yeah, uh, go! You, you may do. Oh, and then I will talk to the crew. No, captain's quarters. There you go, that's me down. Right, Jesse. Um, I think I'm going to go for this you one You spent again. that, didn't you? Uh, yes, and I'm going to ready the cannons, I think, because it's, yeah. Okay, that'll do. Done. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Daniel's put. What are your thoughts on this game, Jade and Jess? Enjoying it? Negatives, positives? Um, enjoying it. Enjoying it. It's a really good yeah. game. And the camera's gone. And the oh, camera's back. Oh. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's a good game. Oh, this isn't the first time I've played it. Yeah, it's, it's the first time for Jess. For, I think this is one of those ones that um, it's simple enough, but. It's a nice story. Yeah. This isn't one that you're playing for mechanics. This really is kind of a uh, yeah, a, a story based option. Okay, let's go. So it's shot, me. shot of course. Exploration plus one. Exploration. And then perform an exploration check. One sec. What's your exploration? It's one. Oh, okay. And you got a lot of reroll tokens. So that's good. Four, five. Shall we roll? Um. Well, to be honest with you, you'd need 16 plus to make any difference. So you could never do that on any no, dynamic. Anyway. Okay, so I won't go wrong. Um, so, scout two spaces. Um, okay, so here and here, I think. Go on then, yep. Yeah. So pop those down. Or just flip them up, yep. Yeah. You were about to put that there. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking about changing it. <laughs> I think that's why you put them face down, because then you put yeah. them down. Uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the best thing about this picture? This game? What do you reckon? Um, I think. The story, it, it's really good. It's quite funny as well, isn't it, yeah. at times? So. Okay, sometimes so you get, like, funny then it's bits. You, Dad. I'm ready in the cannons, so I can either load a cannon, spend a supply to flip it <laughs> to, to thing. Uh, yeah, do that because we've got a level three order. unloaded. Agreed. One by practice your aim. I get two of the following. So if I spend one supply, I will load level three. Well, it's plus seven. And I can't do my aim anymore, so I might as well spend one more supply and I'll load the level two as well. Okay, that's me ready in the cannons and getting and them. And then back to me. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll put him back up here because yeah. it might change. So what's that? Ch- captain's quarters? Yeah. Jess, could you did, fill out the next captain's quarters? Sorry, did anyone go to <clears throat> sail? No. Who was the last one? Jessie. Jess. What did she do? I don't know. Talk to, she did... Uh, I tell you what, with this one, I'll I'll do that because it, the other ones have been done. Yeah, and also we've got to do hungry oh, crew. So would that be me again? Why um, are we taking the things off? No, hungry. No, Jess. It. Jess, this is you. Hungry crew. Feed the crew. Spend a number of supplies equal to the current hunger. Well, we couldn't have done that anyway. No, we couldn't have. Um, ask them to go hungry. Discontent plus two, but you get a swagger and infamy minus She's one. I can't get swagger. swagger. Okay. 
Uh, let them raid. Infamy plus four. So Je Jess would go right to the top. If supplies are at zero, discontent plus two. Otherwise, lower the supplies to zero. Um, lower them to zero. We're going to have to, aren't we? Because cool. you can't do the other two. Now, that would have happened first before me loading the cannons, though. That's the only thing. So you couldn't load the cannons. So I think what she's probably got to do is do the discontent too. Otherwise... Otherwise, you can't do that. So yeah. do discontent too. Sorry, Jessie. Oh, this is really bad now. What happens if the discontent Anyway, okay, so then, the I, then I will do sail. Sail, yeah, okay. Instead of the captain's quarters. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so navigation plus one. So I've got navigation you've got to plus it. two. Oh. Yeah, you've got to cross it first. Three then. Then do a check. So three plus a... Is that six? Shall I roll? Mm. No, because otherwise you've got to have 15 or more. Okay. Uh, infamy plus one. You're all at the top. Yeah. You may spend supplies and hold... No, I wouldn't be at the top because Jess would have gone to the top. No, she wouldn't. Oh, no, she wouldn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, move the ship for every supplies. Hole spent, move the ship one space. Uh, so, do we do we move one of each? Um, yeah, can do. Yeah, because otherwise we're... Oh, we're not looking great, guys. And we've got to move the ship, yeah? And move the ship one space, well, yeah. I know. We've, got, we've, got to, we've got to go to it, haven't we? Yeah, so we're going to 22. Is it? Zero 22. Oh. Oh, uh, and to respond to Daniel in the chat, what do I think of this? Um, I I really enjoy it, but you've got to be in the mood for a story. Um, I don't play this for mechanics whatsoever, because a lot of it's kind of randomised. and. It wasn't your choice to buy it, was it? It was mine. <laughs> no, but, but, but I do enjoy it, yes. I do like it. Um, Are you sure? Did you put the zero two two? Hang on. Zero. zero two does it say two, zero two two? two? two yeah. Are you meant to read entry twenty two now, or did you forget to read the round? Oh, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, you round, round end first. Sorry. Yeah, eight hundred. Yeah. Right. Threat plus one. Okay. Um, and then starting with a player with the highest infamy, which is Jaden going clockwise, any constellation tokens? No. No, no, no. Okay, did the ship move this round? Yes, yeah. it did. So now we've got to read 022. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. <clears throat> Stick it to them. Read this to the player with the, f the highest aim. It should be you. I'm on five. The crew yeah. begins to board a whaler they've brought to heel, but the bastards on the other boat perform a quick maneuver that pulls your ships apart. Boarding planks and screaming sailors fall into the water. You're oh, already geez. on the enemy ship's deck, where you spy a harpoon gun. If you fired it at your boat, it might hold fast to prevent your prey from escaping. <clears throat> right, uh, fire the harpoon gun, or... Jump overboard and swim to your ship. I'm going to fire the harpoon gun. Yeah, fire it. You fire the gun and cheer as the harpoon sinks into the hull of your ship. The line between the harpoon and gun grows taut, but it looks like it's going to hold. <clears throat> right, okay, hull minus one. Oh, sugar. Uh, treasure plus one. So I do get treasure. Um, add one to your result. Cannot be buried. Oh, that's good. Um... Set dial A to Z7 and then go to 53. We've just done page 53, so we should know how that goes. Right, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to discard this to get plus two supplies. Um, so we go up to three at least. Have you got any? J Jess can do that. Do you want to do that, Jess? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Right, so Only we've got we're five. really low. Um, Turn to 53. Are we done? Uh, are we ready? Sorry, not are we done. Are we ready? Yeah. ready? Jade, you get the extra. Right, anything that gives hull would be nice because we're almost done. Three, okay. two, one, go. It's the one that we've had before, isn't it? Right, any of those? I don't know what any of those gives. So. Uh, oh, you hull, haven't pressed hull, hull. timer. You haven't oh, pressed sorry. timer. Sorry. Thanks, Jess. Hull. Something for hull. Oh. No, no, I don't. I don't know where to go. No, okay, so maybe we should do this. Reduce the crew. Uh, that one and that one. Okay. Because if I get treasure, me. it might have hole on it. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Can I go with you guys? Yeah, you can do. Thank what you. to fight? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're all done. We're all done on that. Nothing here gets us hole. Yeah, but really treasures not. might. <laughs> treasures may. That's yeah, that's why true. I went in there. Right. So because there's three people in the same location. 
Uh, it goes in in this order. So Jade, yeah, yeah. you get the first go. So brawn plus one. So it's my brawn. It's one. Oh, so add to it, and then you're going to roll the die. So no, re-roll, four, re-roll, re-roll that. that. Jeez, yeah. You need at least six. Uh, again, two. Yeah. Oh, yeah again. A snap. Four. So that puts me on six. Six. Uh, I, can, I can re-roll. Yeah, you need kind of one more. I otherwise, we re-roll. yeah. Oh, back to four. oh no! Nothing else. No, that's it. Oh, hang on. Is oh, that brawn? What's that oh, there? this is brawn. Before performing a brawn check, you may spend one supply to add one, add three to your result. Oh, there you I go. That puts you that. in the next. So take the last re-roll back because yeah. you were on something like four. So if you'd have read that, yeah, um, okay. okay that, so you're going to get reduced dial A by one and get a re-roll token. There you go. Right, then it is on to yes. Nurse Me next oh, in, oh, in that order. order is it? Yeah, so I get Brawn plus one, I get a star, so I'll come this way. And. Do, do, do. Okay, I've got a. I get plus one. When performing a skill check, add one to your result. So I've got seven, eight, nine, ten. That's got. When you do yours, that's got plus two brawn on it. Ten. Oh, I'm going to do that now. So, can you reduce that by one? No, you don't spend it, you keep it. Check, you reduce that yeah. by one, and I get a reroll token. Um, That'll do. Right, Jess, you get a brawn plus one. So, if you brought plus one on brawn in <coughs> there, which means you get oh, yeah. a star. Nice. She's also got plus two here. Wow, okay, so what's she on? Five. So, then Five, if you roll the roll die, the Jess. Die. What? Yeah. No, what, what, what are you doing? Don't colour those in. Oh, I just pretend they didn't. Do yeah, that's fine. Don't. That's, don't that's worry fine. About it. Don't worry about it. Right. So you've got three up. Did you colour your thing in up here? Uh, no, not yet. Just one. Oh, don't, yes, do, you... don't do another one if you've only done if you've done one already. Okay. So then you've got five. Roll your die. Why did you colour the next two in? Because I said she's got plus two from here. Oh yeah. Okay. That's my fault. Eleven. Tw- 15, She's got 14, 15, 16. 16. Wow. Reduce dial A by three. Mm-hmm. She gets infamy plus four and a treasure. So okay. she smacked them so hard that they dropped all their loot okay. and she's taken it. Here's so. your treasure. When you gain when you gain one or more infamy, gain one additional infamy. Cannot be buried. Wow. And it gives you plus one or yeah. plus one swagger and plus and hunting. one. Hunting, yeah. Don't put it on there. Wow, it, nicely done, Jess. So these are ones that you get well, just because J- your treasures. Jade, you're hunting. I am hunting. So, um, so do I get a plus one on hunting? Yep. Yeah. Plus one on hunting, and then if action two was chosen by one or more players this round, perform a hunting check. So roll that die and see what you get. Just two. So it's six, seven, eight. Eight's not bad. Okay. So you will get one treasure and infamy plus two. Okay. With 62% fewer blood smears. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. Exquisite charts. Uh, eight, two, f- eight, two, five. Here we go. Here we go. You give a loud huzzah and cut down your opponent. She hits the floor hard, rolling to the That's side cool. to reveal a double set of I've eye patches. No, Jess might have it now. Wait a moment. Yeah, Jess has got it. You say, you three. seem familiar. You. She hisses. No, it had to be you, didn't it? Oh, little Gertie, I have failed you. I swore Roll revenge, it. only to fall victim to the same foulness that so Butcher did. It's combat, combat no, on, right? Sorry. You argue, pointing at your sword. A little bit of hack and slash. I'm just trying to do me job. And if any of you got to know me, you'd think I was a pretty decent sort. Oh, devils claim decency, spits the dying woman. Right, so the person with the highest brawn, which was Jess, yeah, she performs a swagger check. So, okay, so five, two, three, eight. Eight. Uh, does she want to re-roll that five to make yeah. it higher? Try and make it higher. Jess, do you want to do that? Because then... No, nope. oh, try, try again. again. <laughs> want to make it... Oh, do you want to try again? I'll try again. You want 13 plus, come on. Give come it a on, Jess. Roll. So it's two, three. So it's three, whatever she gets. Three. Oh, it's back to eight again. Well, Never mind. Okay. Look, I'll show you, you insist. First, I'm going to pull out my sword. There. Now I need to staunch the flow of blood. It'll just... Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe place my hands right here and... 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, shouldn't have pulled the blade out, idiot, sighs a nearby sailor. <laughs> so Jess has got misfortune and a treasure. Uh, right, reduce hull, crew, and supplies by tell of X. X is the dial A. So two. two. I think it's got to be supplies, just isn't supplies, it? Yeah, just crews. supplies, yeah. Because crews. Actually, hold on. If we did crew, when the ship would lose one or more crew, you may return this card to the story deck to lose one fewer crew and discontent minus one. So I can move that just one and then that. Like yeah, that. okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you may return this card to the story deck, which I will. Uh, 56. Let me just put that back in order so that when we look later, we can just grab that, it. That was quite good. You had that card then. Yeah, it came at a good time, didn't it? Mm. Um, right, so what happens now? Right, re, uh, do, do, do. highest infamy, which is Jade, moves the ship. So should we go to our destination? Yeah. What's the number? 963. 963, here we go. Have you already visited this island? No. Nada. Okay, here we go. You arrive on Precipice Island. Precipice, that's it. You see it. before you a collection of small houses nestled into the cliff's edge that overlooks the ocean. You hear the distant rumbling of the watery barrier that marks the ocean's edge, and you wonder who could choose to live in such a place. You follow Captain Vance to a rickety old bridge that leads to one of the cliffside houses. Been a long time, mateys, but I always loved coming here, he says. The house itself is a crumbling structure made of mismatched parts. You notice a lovely golden telescope reaching out past a hole in the roof, staring up at the dark sky. The captain removes his hat and licking the palm of his hand, tries to smooth down his great white tangle of hair. <laughs> when he reaches the door, he gives a nervous knock. The door opens to an old woman whose body and clothing seem to keep with the rest of the house's theme. JJ? She exclaims. Just boot buns. Get your butt over here. And the two give each other a happy embrace. You learn her name is Esmeralda, and she is quickly able to decipher the map. Red Rock Island, the Painted Caverns. She instructs. That's where you'll be finding that stone. When you leave a half hour later, Belly's warm with tea. Esmeralda grabs one of you by the arm and whispers, Take care of him. And you can see she looks scared. He's dreamed of this forever. Never enough in this world to keep him happy. Keep him satisfied. But it's dangerous. A person who plums the abyss too long will never truly make it back out. You remember that. You leave Esmeralda's home, happy to find that the captain hasn't led you astray but concerned that the mission you are on is becoming all the more real. Okay, so just in between then, I revealed... Uh, sorry, I removed the revealed navigation, which was just that token over there. And we have... Oh, Jess, you need to write painted caverns on the log. And I removed the threat from the threat how, track. So how do I spell that? Painted. Uh, P-A-I. P-A-I. N-T-E. It was A-I, so that, not I-A. Sorry. Right. N T N T E D. Was a little tavern. Caverns. Caverns. Taverns. Sorry. C A V. E R N. S. Okay. Congratulations! You have reached the end of part one. That's really cool. Um. The highest infamy player, which is Jade, you get to choose two of the following. Supplies plus three, discontent minus two, crew plus three, or hull plus three. God, uh, I, I'll go, go down the discontent. Really? Yes, so minus yeah. two. Um, I'd say and, hull plus hull three. Hull plus three, yeah. Definitely, because we're, we're almost gone otherwise. <laughs> uh, we're happy with that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, at this time, players may choose to continue on to part two or take a break by saving their game uh, and returning to play part two at a later date. But we're going to, we're all right to continue, aren't we? Because obviously, otherwise, we've got to come back on stream. So uh, we're going to continue. And uh, let's. After visiting let's, Esmeralda, you visit a nearby town to restock and prepare for the trip to Red Rock Island. So we've got to flip objective card one to objective card two. 
Um, find the clearing stone. Turn to page 21. But we'll do that in a moment. Our goal is reach Red Rock Island 957. Oh, so we've got to go back to that island. Uh, and find the stone in the painted caverns. Okay, so find the clearing stone. 21, Jess. Should, should we do that? Uh, sure. Yeah. And then when we're ready, Jade, you're going to have the extra person again. Yeah. Was it, sorry? 21. 21. Only had it then, just never drop it. If ever you, um, I'll just let guys know on the stream, if ever you're um, looking, you want to look at what you've done last, you can go on to the, into history, and then it will tell you, so there you go, that was the last entry we read. That's just pretty good. Okay, three, two, one, let's go for it. Jade, Ooh, right, you're first okay. um, with both your things. Go. That one. Um, I don't really know, but um, do that one. Okay, um, Jess, what would you like to do? I will go for this. Okay, I'm kind of interested by the uh, the whispering waterfall. Oh, I nearly went there. I'm intrigued. I wonder what the whispering waterfall is all about. By the way, look at that artwork. That is stunning. Um, it looks like something out of the Caribbean. Uh, parts it's of Caribbean. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, we seem to have random it's, it's animals. The, it's the name the of the um, of the taverns oh, or the bar pubs. I'm, because... I'm gonna let people know what this sounds like when it's done. Time's up, ding yeah. ding. But we, we don't we get don't, that because we've already done, done it. I just wanted to let you guys uh, hear the ding ding. Right. So, Jade, yes, you're first. What, what have I got to do? You've got to do swagger plus one. Yeah, that gets me a star. Nice. And then you can perform a swagger check. So, uh, right, so that's six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, you get two of the market options below. So you either gain uh, get supplies for the crew, uh, supplies plus two, gather news from the locals to get a re-roll, get something nice, spend one supply to gain a treasure, uh, get a scary looking tattoo, spend one supply and get infamy plus two, mm. or get a cannon, spend two supplies to get one loaded level two or lower yeah, cannon. I'll get some supplies, I think. Yeah, and you could do that multiple times if you wanted, or we've got re-roll, spend the supply... Um, I think I'm going to get some more supplies because I'm not really Plus bothered two. about the other stuff. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, unless you want a loader cannon, but we've got two loaded in. Yeah, I think right. we'll be all right for the mo. Uh, right, it's on to me. So I'm going to the Whispering Waterfall. When you enter the waterfall, you hear a strange voice say, Speak your desire. <laughs> uh, choose one of the following. I seek to learn a new skill. I seek unman unimaginable wealth. I can't speak today. I seek a new path, or I seek to rule the world. Hmm, do I want a new path? Do I want to rule the world? Do I want lots of wealth? Do you just do one? I th Yeah, I, I choose one. So, do you know what? I seek to learn a new skill. Read entry 310. Here we go. Let's see what Ooh. the Whispering Waterfall can give me. Wish granted. Says the waterfall. You now know how to julienne carrots and other root vegetables. I what? You cry. Oh, that's good. I'm joking. <laughs> I thought that was coming. Uh, so gain one skill of your choice and then lock action to. Uh, I think I'm going to go for some swaggy, you know, because that gets, gets me in the. star, yeah? Yeah. Why not? I mean, most of my anchors fill up now just to keep you guys up. Uh, on track of what we have. Oh, if it stops falling. There you go. That's uh, getting nice and full now. Okay. Uh, lock action two, which we have done. So now it's on to Jesse. You're at the graveyard and you've got expiration plus one. So if you want to cross that off on your uh, your sheet. There. Expiration, top one. Uh, and then perform an expiration check. She's got Miss Fortune as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, so she's got to roll two die and take you the just... lowest. But you get get rid of the misfortune token when you do it, so that's good. Oh, that's oh not bad. wow! She's rolled an eleven so and a twelve, and she's got to take the lowest. Then, she's still got 11. fourteen. Has she? Yep. For the graveyard. Wow. Okay, so she gets en entry three one six. That's the highest result. Even with misfortune, she gets the highest result. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You find a soiled gentleman stuck half in the ground looking by all appearances to be escaping from his grave. Oh dear, says you. This don't bode well. No, no, says the gentleman. This is not as it appears. My wife was having an affair with our physician, 
And the two conspired to drug me and have me buried as dead. Zounds! You cry. What a fiendish scheme! Indeed. He agrees. Now please be a friend and help me out of this mess. There's a hefty reward in it for you. How do you know your wife and Doc ain't already split with your loot? You challenge. <laughs> I tricked them all. He laughs. I had my greatest treasures sewn into my burial clothes years ago. He's right. And after you've relieved him of his treasure, you use your boots to stomp him back down into his hole. <laughs> right, Jess, you get plus two treasure. Now, if you look at your max four, you're going to ever have four treasures. So you're going to have to get rid of one. Which um, one does this? Right, so that one says... Oh, no, oh, I've got loads of supply there. That's annoying. Because mm -hmm. that says discard one to get one supply. What but should you discard that one to get another three supply? Really, no, she's really got to discard it straight one. away. Yeah. What is that? Well, that gets you plus two... Swagger. I don't need swagger. Oh, mm. It's up to you. The, that's the only one that doesn't give her benefits, though. Yeah, I would get rid of this one. Yeah. yeah but and you, we'd get a supply. Yeah, but swagger, it adds two to it. So yeah. even though you can't cross it off, you can still have it added to your dice roll. So get rid of that one. And then she'll get... She'll, yeah. yeah. She'll get, a say, uh, a goods, um, which is good. And lock action three, which we have. Okay, so then, Jade, it's just onto your extra dude. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and what see what you can do. Which one will you want? Sloppy squirrel. <laughs> okay, so you challenge a pirate to an arm wrestling match. Crew plus one, which is pretty good. Brawn plus one. Uh, yep, yeah, so add to your brawn. And then perform a brawn check. So, what's your brawn now? So, my brawn is three. Mm hmm. Three, and if I spend a supply, I can get three more to my result. Okay. Be that's before, though. So yeah, you're before gonna... performing the check. So, do you want to spend one to add three? You may sp yeah, go on, spend one. So, what are you on then? So, that's, so that's three, right, six. Six before I even roll. Six, okay. Ten. Does that make a difference? Um, or should I re roll? I don't know. I think. So, hang on. Ten. If you've got. What number did you roll to get ten? Four. Four. So, if you rolled an eight or more, you're going to get the top entry. Let's give it a go. Because you might get. You get more rewards for the higher you get. What's that? Six. So, that's twelve. Twelve. It's still in that I same bracket. I think I'm gonna try again. Because you need an eight or more. Come on, eight or higher. Let's do this. No. I don't ah, know. Okay. Never mind. Three, one, eight. It's still, it's still like the middle option, so it's gonna be okay. all right. Yeah. You challenge the proprietor, the esteemed Helga Arm Ripper, to a contest of arms. She readily accepts, and as the two of you clasp hands, biceps bulging in ways that make you both look totally cool, you realize you've got what it takes to defeat her. But then she actually makes an effort, and you are sent flying across the room. She laughs. I like you, kid. You've got spirit. Thank you, Helga. You call from your place on the floor behind the bar. Right, so Jade got plus one swagger, she got a reroll token, and she locked action four. That is the end of the round. So, 809, we need to go on to. Yeah. Okay, threat plus one. So, our threat level or max that we can go to is three now. Uh, starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise, have we got any constellations? No, no, no one has. Nope. Uh, do we stay and lose crew? Oh, no. the highest infamy chooses. So, Jade, do we stay and lose crew no, or do we I leave? No, we lose crew. What do we leave? Well, unless so we're going to leave. Well, there's already three locked out. So. Well, we've, we've got to get to that before this moves closer. Yeah, so let's leave then. Okay. Uh, move the ship one space. Um, Which way do you want to go? Here. All right, then we're going to flip a token. Is it bad? No. Oh, okay. Zero two one. Not too bad. There's no warning on this, so we can just sail past if we wanted to. Yeah. Sailors curse as they race across the decks and prepare for battle. You were all so excited to find a port mm. that you didn't notice the ship flying royal color that run, was already no. there. No, no. Okay, so it says remove token twenty one from the game. Yeah. Uh, turn to page 55. Is Hawkeye written on the no. log? No. I thought we were supposed to write on there. But no, no, that was before it said, is Hawkeye on oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing Hawkeye is some special ability that we'd get. Yeah, he's a superhero. Um, okay, set dial A to 5 and B to 4. We've had a lot more battles uh, this, At this time. This turn, than, yeah. yeah. Okay, so are we ready? Yeah. 
three, two, one. one. Let's go. Do I get the fella again? Um, oh yeah, okay. sorry. Yes, go on then, Jade. So, um, if we hang on, if it says if we go for the sails, then we can get, we can board them. Yep. Well, go on. Do, do whatever you want to do. Yep. Do you want me then. to load cannons? Uh, we've got two cannons already, but I'm going to fire them. Oh, you're going to so, fire them. Well, if you want to load one of them, oh, okay, okay you can do that. Uh, I'm going to definitely, I'm definitely going to fire the cannons, and then Jess, there is another cannon if you want to fire as well. No, we don't need to. Yeah, because then, yeah. Okay, done. Right, Jade, you're rallying. So swagger plus one, and then perform a swagger check. Nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's I have probably. Got a re that's probably in one of the best. Um, anyway, so choose two rally options. You get a re-roll. Choose another player. That player gains a skill of their choice. Uh, choose another player. That get a re-roll or reduce either dial by one. Should we try and lower the sails? Yeah. So then we can sales. board them. So the sales B, so I lower yep. that to three. And you get a second option, so you either get a re-roll, another player gains a skill of their choice, or another player gets two re-rolls. I think, what well, Jess, so, so they can get one of a my skill, choice. A skill of your choice, yeah. Right, so Jess, if you properly cross off one of your brawns now, okay. just trying to fix up that she made a mistake. Oh, yeah. I'll just colour in the box. Okay, uh, right, then Jesse, you're firing a cannon, so... I also get a star. You get an aim plus one. Okay, uh, and then get an aim on to uh, cross off on your aim, so you get another star. Okay, before you fire, um, do you want to use a cannon? So, if you were to example, for example, even use the level three, you'd get seven, eight, nine, and then whatever you roll. Uh, yeah. Um, Ten. I will use level three. So flip level three down. Okay, uh, are we? Are you going to go for the sales, or are you going to go for... Do I roll? Yeah, in a minute, but you've got to decide. Are you going to so, go for the sales of the whole? If we get rid of the sales, then we might be able to board them. Yeah, I would say get sales. rid of this, then. Okay. Right, roll the die, then. Let's see what you got. Eight. Oh, no. Nine. Ten, eleven. Oh, is it eight? Oh, because that's seven. Yeah. Eleven. Reduce the target by one. Oh, it's better than nothing. That was a pretty, unfortunately, it was a pretty awful roll, but yeah. that wasn't her fault. Uh, have you got anything else there that benefits? No. Okay, so then it's on to me. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go for the sails. I'm also going to use this cannon for plus five. Uh, my aim is already on five, so I get five, ten, ten. Uh, eleven for my stunt dog. Eleven, eleven. twelve, thirteen. 13. I'm going to re roll because it's not good enough. Eleven. 14. Not good enough. <laughs> I need an 18 plus. 11 plus 9. 20. 20. That's what I need. Reduce target by 3. So that's First gone. Done. I get infamy plus 3. Boom. Oh, actually, did Jess get any infamy for doing? No, she didn't. No. Right, and then Jay Wide, it is you. So yeah. you've got gather debris. Hunting plus 1, then get a hunting check. Thanks to those who are joining the stream. Uh, come and come and say hello in the uh, the chat if you're watching. Right, so hunting plus one. Okay. That's not hunting, is it? That's brawn. Right, right, hunting. Ooh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay, so get two gather options. Plus one supply, plus one treasure, plus one re-roll. Supplies may be multiple times and may re-rolls as well, but we've got quite a lot of those, so you can be selfish and get a... <laughs> treasure if you want or you um, could do one of each you could get well, if I get how many do I get to pick from uh, you get one uh, two options right, so, so one treasure, treasure but you can only do that once so you would either supply or re-roll and I'll get a re-roll okay cool because a re-roll can benefit all of us that's true um, right then end of the round uh, eight to six eight to six let's see what we get here uh, did the ship move this round no okay. is dial A at zero no is dial B at zero? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Discontent minus one. Good. Uh, turn to page 53. And set dial players, uh, dial, dial five to the amount of players, yeah? Di dial eight, 53 um. is that way. Okay, so three, yeah. Done. Oh, right, okay, you ready? 
Uh, starting with me now with the yeah. extra guy. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. So we've boarded and we're going to do that. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, what is my... for this one. Yeah, what's my swagger? Swagger's high. Yes, I am going to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to fight the... No, I'm not. I'm going to loot cannons. Right, okay. And then it's on to me. Jade. I'm going to yep. fight enemy crew. Okay, and then Jessie. She's also going to fight the crew. Awesome. That was done nice and quick. Uh, right. Who we got on? Ooh, it says error not enough enough for the stream, but hopefully it's all right. Okay, so we have got parlay, which I'm going to do. I get swagger plus one, so that puts me on six, seven. I will have seven plus a die. Where are my die? Here they are. Come on, seven, seventeen makes it five oh five. So you know, last time when I wrote five oh five, and we shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh... Will pause? The drooling fool of a first mate says to his captain. We got walloped this time, no doubt about it, but at least they don't know about the treasure we hid in the brig. The other <laughs> captain groans, and you signal one of your crew to go look. All players must simultaneously vote for the following. Highest infamy, player breaks ties. Right, thumbs up. Stop boarding the ship. We get hull, we get, hull, we get supplies. All players get a treasure. We set it to zero, then Im immediately end. Um, <laughs> thumbs down option. I don't know. Uh, well, what do you think? What? I'm kind of thinking we should um, do thumbs up. What's then we get all the whole? Yeah. We get whole supplies, and we all get a treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we set dial A to zero. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, Three, one. one. Okay, so hull plus two. We get supplies plus three. That's up to the top. All players gain a treasure. So for those who are going to be drawing a fifth treasure, you've got to bury one. Well, right, Jesse, you've got to bury one. Well, not bury We'll get rid of one. Then immediately resolve the end of round phase. So we don't get any of the other stuff. We go straight to that's 825. Fine, that's, better than not, that's better than not being able to get A down to zero. Yeah, that's true. So take your things what back. Get rid of. Take your stuff back. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You have a merry time, hacking, slashing, and Wait. sending mariners to their doom. But then no, you just... spot a glowering man who eyes you with great ferocity. For little Gachi! He screams before lunging at you with two daggers. You step aside, accidentally tripping the man with your boot. Okay. He falls on his own dagger and screams, oh, You butchered me! Just like you did, little Gachi! Oh, for Pete's sake! You groan and relieve him of his belongings. I'm pretty sure we've had that before, but no, it okay. wasn't. That was re that was revenge for Gertie. Oh, was it? Yeah. Right, treasure plus two. She's got to get rid of two cards yeah, now. Um, Discontent minus one, which we've done. I don't want to get rid of any of these because they give me treasure. Right, what was a? It was zero. Um, Should I get rid of this infamy? Oh, I get. Jess has got. Oh, sorry. No, no right. while she's getting rid of treasure. Yeah, one. that one needs to get rid of another. Get rid of another. And each one will go up the supplies, but... But we're already full supplies. Yeah. Here you go. So, oh, that's a shame. So, just to let guys know, I know that Dan... I think Daniel's still watching, but um, for those who have watched our stream before, you'll notice that our camera goes quite often. Um, today, I took the plunge and I paid four quid uh, for the official app. And to see if it made it any better, unfortunately, it hasn't made a difference. Although so. it has been longer for it to cut off. It has, yeah, that's true. Uh, right, reduce, well, not by X. I get to move it. I'm going to move it one okay. closer to that. Yep, so there we go. And this is zero two seven. So here's the new location. We've had quite a lot of battles this time, haven't we? Yeah. Right, crossroads event, Pars Whiskey. Read the following to the player with the highest aim. This is me, I think. Yeah. A royal frigate bears down on you, but you're looking down at the bottle of bleached liver whiskey you hold in your hands. A final gift from your pa. He left the world as he entered it. Drunk off his ass and naked. But at least he was kind <laughs> enough to leave one bottle for you to drink and remember him by. Uh, fashion the bottle of harsh, low-class whiskey. Barely suitable for human consumption into a flaming cocktail. Cocktail to be hurled at the ship. Or guzzle the whiskey, preferring to die drunk and happy than sober and screaming. Nah. I think we're going to have a uh, yeah. a flaming cocktail. Yeah, why not? 
Every eye on the ship stares at you in wonder. Screams of burning sailors assault your ears, and you watch the frigate burn into the water in its entirety. A howling vortex of flame and death. Matey, <laughs> gasped Captain Vance in both wonderment and fear. What in the unholy hells was in that bottle? A drunk father's love. You answer. <laughs> so we removed 27 from the board. I got plus one aim, but I've got full aim anyway. Discontent is already as low as it can go. And we check threat, which is fine. So that, that worked out. I just burnt down their ship as you do. Uh, what happens now? Um, round end. <laughs> well, I did pass whiskey. That was the end. That was the end of the. Right, hang on. For, uh, read the following player to, uh, which we did. Uh, okay, so I chose that one. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that bit. Turn to page seven. That's why. That's why I got stuck. <laughs> okay, go. let's page go. Seven. Okay, are we QLC. ready? Three, two, one. Who's first? You asked it. Yeah. Right, this time we've got Hungry Crew, by yeah, the way. Remember right, so time. what can I work on? I could work on exploration. Let's do that. And I could work on a little bit of hunting, I guess. So let's do that as well. That one we can't do. In fact, oh, no, I'm, I'm pointing at it there so you go. don't forget there it. Uh, Jade, it's you. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down here because Jess has got quite you're, a bit of you're high stuff. sail. Okay. And then Jess, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, she's going to do captain's quarters. Okay, so we're done in time. And so I'm going to chart a course. So I get exploration plus one. Uh, chart a course. Then perform an exploration check. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. One, two... Uh, no, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Infamy minus two. Ah, so I lose infamy. But I get to scout two spaces. <clears throat> so if I scout, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah around, yeah. Lightning and oh, I missed the area, which doesn't look too great. Um, okay, then it's Jess. No, it's not. It's me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, explore. So choose two of the following: fight a walrus, <laughs> brawn plus one, infamy plus three. Yep, I'll do that. <clears throat> so I go back up to the top. Um, and then I've got a uh, hunt for treasure, perform a hunting check on a result of 10 plus. Oh, if I do a hunting... Oh, no, hunting's really weak. Or 226. I'm going to read 226. Yeah, you need to be able to bury the treasure if you bury this card, so you can't bury it. Right, here we go. You discover an old ship on the seabed. None other than the Piercing Dawn. It was the ship of Annabel Mont, lost daughter of the king. You dive deep, and luckily you find her quarters near the great cabin. The girl's skeleton lies on a bed, but more pleasant are the two chests that sit nearby. You will only hmm. be able to return with one. Take the chest covered in strange symbols, or take the chest with the image of a large jewel carved in its lid. I'm going to go with that one. You open the chest and discover seawater and a skeleton of a fish. Angrily, you slam the lid shut. Oh, now that looks fancy, says a member of your crew, nodding at the chest. Trade, you offer. Hells yes, he crows. You make the trade and hasten away. Infamy plus two, which is at the top. Uh, treasure plus one. Nice. Resolve an, an action that one or more others will... This round, you may steal one treasure from those players. Uh, lock action three. I've realised that we've still got lock tokens in the in the book. So oh, we just I feel the page. I was like, where are the rest gone? Okay, lock action three. Then um, captain's quarters, Jess. So if you cross off the oh, captain's zero, quarters, four, five. is it zero four five? Yeah, zero four five. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Damn it all! Captain Vance bellows as you enter his quarters. The place is torn apart. Books. Papers and clothes scattered everywhere. Something wrong, Captain? You ask. The old man groans in irritation. Nah, what do you be needing, matey? I found this down below. You answer and hold up a beautifully ornate compass. Me compass? He cries. And just like that, all care evaporates from his face. Thank you, my friend. 
You don't know how vexed I was to misplace such a treasured item. Here, take this as a proper sign of gratitude. And he tosses you a useful item. I notice the strange markings along the edge, you say. Aye, agrees the captain. Tis written in the old salt tongue. Something not too many people knows about these days. I don't quite recall what it says. Be friend Scroggs told me years ago, before he went and caught a cannonball in his chest. Good pirate, Scroggs. I will tell you about the time he and I sold liquor to the Royal Navy. Only it wasn't no liquor. It was sheep's laxative. You sure did, Captain. You say politely. Well, got to be going. Lots of chores to get done. Still yeah, we forgot this top option. Uh, Jess would have done it. Um, if we spent four supplies, she gets an infamy. The other ones would have been really bad for us, so I've done it. We forgot to do Hungry Crew again. What I'm finding with this one is I actually don't really like the three-player bit yeah. with the we, Hungry we Crew because I keep to, forgetting it. Well, yeah. Maybe we need to put something on it so that we do it first. I did. I put that no, on there. No, I mean something that will actually let make us do it. Yeah, maybe a, another... An action token or something. Yeah. We could put like a red... Right, maybe. so Jess gained yeah, another treasure, which means she needs to discard another oh, treasure. Oh, okay. And she got a re-roll as well, didn't she? Yeah, she got a re-roll. And then I would say Jess, this one you can only do if you get a tre buried treasure action. So I would say I'll just discard that because it might be a, it might not get one, and you're stuck with that treasure forever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So up the um, supplies by oh, one. Oh, by one, nicely done. This is annoying. right, and then it's Jade, you get navigation plus one, and then perform a check. Navigation plus one. Down the bottom. Oh, we get another star. And perform a check, right? So, the other gauge is ten plus four, five, six. So that's sixteen. Wow! Infamy plus two. So you go right to the top again. Uh, you may spend supplies and hold to move the ship for every two supplies, or one hole spent. Oh, for every two supplies or one hole spent, move the ship one space. We need to move one space to get on there. So just one hole, maybe? Yeah, go on. Yeah, one hole to get there, otherwise it's two supplies. Yep. Um, okay, and then you're done, yeah? Yeah. So take that off, and 802 is that? 802? Yeah. Okay, we go. Threat plus one, which is still fine. Have any of us got a constellation token? Yeah, I have. Okay, so trigger your next constellation event. What do you get? Um, gain one skill of your choice and yep. um, for supply plus three. Oh, nice. Uh, ten. So that feed in the crew that we missed. Uh, I'm um, just going to go ahead and grab the, the other lock tokens before I forget them. I think I'm going to gain think there are anymore. Oh, yeah. There's one in here somewhere. Yep, there you go. Start. There it is. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, did the ship move this round? Yes, yes. It did. Yep. Um, Mine five seven. Mine five seven. Here we go. Is painted caverns it written? Is. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah. You arrive at Red Rock Island. The crew treks up a mountain path in search of the cave Esmeralda had told them of. When you reach the highlands, you find a small village where the locals tell you of a mysterious nearby cave. That's not going there without some lanterns. One of the locals chimes. You can fetch them for a good price at the blacksmith if you're so inclined. Hmm, okay. That's a really weird accent. Return, return all revealed navigation tokens to the face down pile. So they, they go to the face down. Yeah. If we put them under How there. How many people do we have watching? <clears throat> we have three actually. So uh, hi, three people. There we go. Yeah. And. Check threat, which threat is fine. fine. Uh, turn to page 13. Oh, it was 39, wasn't it? Let me just check. Yes, it was. Okay, right. Page 39. You, you'd have to bring it this way. Okay. 39. Do you want me to take it as you pass Who's the top player? So, Jay, do you want the top player? Are we ready? Yeah. Pass it to me. No, hang on. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. All oh, the highlands. Oh, so, the blacksmith and the painted caverns are now open. And okay. the oh no! Ah, bummer. Okay, and then it's me. Uh, do I need brawn? Yes, I do. I'm gonna go brawn. The drunken star. duck. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, um, you can bury treasure, and oh, then and I've then you got get rid of that card now. You fill in a space on your constellation. Uh, you could, but you could bury a different piece of treasure though. 
and you'll for, if you if you bury two, you get two constellations filled in quickly. You got nine seconds. Oh, you do that one, okay. and then you just bury. I know, obviously, I got rid of your other card because, but Ooh. these ones might be better to bury anyway because you're going to make space for decent ones. We can decide in a bit, oh, right? Jade, your there. blacksmith. There you go. Blacksmith. Choose one of the following: buy torches or browse. If any player performs an exploration check this round, which will be you, uh, add ten to their result. Well, you're about to go in the painted cavern, so if you buy torches, your exploration will add 10 when you go I'll there. I'll buy torches then. Yeah? Okay, so that's what you're doing. And then you're then going to the painted caverns. It didn't do anything yeah. else. You get exploration plus one. Right, uh, mark so it up first. Cavern, right, right, so you've got 12. Anything 12, down there? 12. No. Okay, so 12 plus a die roll. Seven, I can re roll. 12 plus 7 is 19. You'd only get one treasure. That's really well. Okay. 12, 12 plus again. 7. I'll do it one more time. There we go. 12 plus 11 is 23. Read entry 419. Here we go. So you're going to get something really nice because that was the top result. Does any player have the Clearing Stone story card? Clearing stone story card. No. no. You and the crew are able to locate the clearing stone in the painted caverns, just as Esmeralda said you would. You watch Captain Vance wrap up the glowing rock in his coat. The stone gives off such a blinding white light that even wrapped up, it fills the cavern with a white blue glow. Shadows dance over the monkey statue that once held the stone, making it appear angry and menacing. The retrieval makes you feel uneasy, but you are still able to exit the cave unharmed. Right, Jade got two treasure. Jess, we need to write clearing stone on the ship's log. Okay. Okay, it says C-L-E. C-L-E. A-R-I. A R I N G N N G G yes uh, and then stone S T O S T O N E uh, retrieve card fifteen clearing stone which Jade has discard the current objective and replace it with objective card three which I should have yep I've put it underneath what does our new goal say. At the end of the current round, instead of reading the end of round entry, read entry 852. Okay. Discard the current objective card and replace it with that. Secure the stone from the from the objective deck. Oh, oh yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, okay. So, right. It's now me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I've got Brawn. Uh, challenge some pirates to a drinking contest. Crew plus one. Uh, and then I've got Brawn plus one, which gives me a star. I'll get a constellation that way. I like that. Okay. Then, what have I got? Uh, constellation. Oh, I'm here. Then perform a Brawn check. Here we go. So my Brawn is one, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay, so six plus a die roll. One. <laughs> Seven. Oh my goodness. Uh, read four, one, four, two, one. That was terrible, that roll. Uh, don't you want to wait for mummy? That's okay. She's... We'll keep I it going. Got this. You whisper to your friends, then plunk down a bunch of bottles under the table. Arr, what are those? The pirate snickers. Those aren't real drinks. Arr, this be the gold standard for drinking contests, you insist. Dead man's pooper. Monkey dog! <laughs> Laughs the pirate. Tonight, we're drinking one-eyed Pete's ten-year fermented small batch orphan's blood. And he slams several jet black bottles onto the table. You close your eyes and shake your head. Damn it. You whisper. <laughs> and 30 minutes later, your friends collect your unconscious body from the floor. <laughs> so I got a re-roll, I got a brawn, and we lock action four. Right, Jesse, you've now got discard up to two treasures. And for each one you discard, you get to fill in a circle on your constellation. Um, 
need what? So how many treasures, which treasures do you want to get rid of? You can get rid of up to two. Uh, up to two. So discard, decide which she two. She's getting that one, I need one, one more. Oh, well, she doesn't have to, up to two. Up to two, okay, do one then. Do you just want to get rid of one? Yeah, yeah do I um... fill in a circle, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then that's that done. So now we've got to do the end of round, but not this one. That we've one, got to 852. Re Thank you, Jade. Uh, 852, here we go. Let's go. You return to the ship with Captain Vance as he carefully carries the stone in his coat. Listen up, me mateys, he says. It's time I fill you in on what we're doing. We've got the clearing stone now, and ain't no turning back. There are going to be those that try to stop us, but we're not going to let them. Once we get past the ocean's edge, we're not only going to find a new world, but we're going to unleash magic on this world too, the likes of which you ain't never seen. Is that wise? A crew member asks. Wise? Laughs the captain. <laughs> <laughs> we're pirates, damn it. We live for adventure, and I ask you, what's more adventurous than sailing seas with mermaids, cutting deals with strange witches, Blowing a massive serpent to smithereens with your cannons and finding mysterious magical treasures. You want to head back to the mainland and spend your life bowing and scraping for noble folk? Or do you want to have some fun with your old cat? Now on to glory and the ocean's edge. The crew, inspired by the finding of the clearing stone, shouts along with the captain in glee. The ocean's edge! Awesome. Right, the highest infamy player chooses two of the following. Supplies plus three, discontent minus two, crew plus three, or hull plus three. Jade, that is you. Uh, well, supplies is max. Discontent is as... So it's only those two that can right, go up. so let's do the crew and the hull then. Yeah, might as well. Because um, they're the only two that you can do. All players discard up to two treasures. For each treasure discarded, fill one cir circle on your constellation. What? You know, um, it says discard. If I was to discard this card, it says to add three. No, no, no. It, it, that's if you discard it okay. for any other. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to discard these two, so I'll I get two. These two. So I get two circles because I want to get at least the fourth. Yeah. So in the in this, if you've had four or five constellation events then you win if you have three or less then you then you lose so um, are you going to do that jess is it just discarding one just all players discard up to two treasures for each one that you discard it's basically burying a treasure i would say maybe get rid of this one why because then you can get that and you can get your you can get us okay yeah right flip the current objective card oh, sorry, yeah um to sail past the edge, the highest infamy player moves the ship one space. What's our new objective? Reach the ocean's edge. 977. So we want to move it back that way, don't we? We want to get to here. We want to get to one of those tiles. So maybe if we oh, go okay. there. I'll go here then. Okay. Uh, right. So then flip one of those tiles and see what number. Um, 019. 019. Okay. Yeah. The Lars. Read this to the player with the highest swagger. Mine is six. Mine's five. So that's me then. On the horizon, you notice a small island heavily guarded by the Royal Navy. Unable to land, you turn away, but notice a small frigate racing toward you, oddly turning away from the island as well. Private ship! Shouts the lookout from above. El Pavo Real! I see a lot of people on deck! More than normal! Passenger ship may be! The crew cheers at this, eager for plunder. El... Pavo Real? A young man next to you asks, his face turning white. Oh, I... I have people on that ship. People who matter. Please, you're a senior member of the crew. Help me, and I'll give you something sparkly I recently found. Oh, so I can either tell the sailor, rules are rules, and El Pavo Real is fair game. Or the I could take the young man's treasure and help convince the crew. I'm going to take his treasure. I want to see what he's got. I'm telling ye, El Pavo Real is a nightmare born in hell and set loose upon the waves. You stand by the mizzen mast calling out to the crew. When those souls of the dam board your ship, they don't come for booty and supplies. Oh no, they leave your souls with the very skin flayed from your corpses. Well, forgive me. 
shouts a toothless sailor. I'll be like the musky and right where it is. Many among the crew agree, and minutes later your ship flees from what could have been easy prey. Right, so we uh, remove navigation token 019 from the game. Yeah. I get a treasure. Yes. Check tray. <clears throat> And, uh, yep, yeah, turn to page seven. So if you want to do that. Okay. And then check threat. Unfortunately, threat happens. So what's the next threat number, Jess? We've got to cross it off as well. Uh, threat is, it is 793. Okay, if you cross that off. Can you do that, Mummy? Yeah. Okay. 793. We're checking threat now. Blackjack squawks as he crashes into the lookout's face. Doom is here! Doom is here! Captain Vance tries to calm some of the crew down, but by nightfall, a few take off in a dinghy, fearing Captain Razor would get to the ship by daybreak. Ah, crew minus two. Not too great. Supplies minus one. Uh, move special location 962 closer to us, so he's going to come down south. Uh, are the ship and special location on the same space? No. Okay, remove all threat from the threat track. Did you do that already? No, you did that. Did I? Yeah. Okay, uh, right. So, we got to go... We've got to do this now. Who's the one in front? You. So you get the extra person. Yeah. Three, two, one. And don't forget we got hungry crew this time. I might try and spear a fish, to be honest. Oh, I don't know, actually. What have I got what towards? I'll point my pen at it. Right. Inspiration. Oh, no, I was going to do that one. All right. They can go down here. No! Oh, okay. you can do that. No, 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 you can do that if you want. No. Go on then, Jess, you'll go. I'm going to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to explore. Right, done. Okay, so, right, we must remember Hungry Crew. So, Jesse, feed the Hungry Crew, spend a number of supplies equal to the hunger in the mouth, which is four. So, four supplies, you'd get Infamy plus one and Discontent minus one. Or ask them to go hungry. Discontent will go up too, but you'd get a swagger and infamy minus one. She doesn't get swagger. swagger. Okay, or infamy plus four, so you go all the way to first place. If supplies are at, oh, if supplies are at zero, discontent plus two, otherwise lower them to zero. I'd say spend, spend four. four and, yeah. No, I don't want them to go hungry. So feed the hungry crew. If that goes down by four. Um, Discontent minus one, which is fine, but you also get one in for me, so you're actually uh, higher up on the thing than me. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, yes, you are going to do charter course, are you? Yeah. Okay, so exploration plus one, then do an exploration check. Okay, let's see what you got. Four, seven, uh, yeah, seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, that gets you into the next bit. Scout three spaces. Three so, spaces. Well, we kind of need to get... Yeah, that's a good idea, because we need to get to the ocean's edge, really. So, yeah, go for it. Oh, that's not great. Okay, hopefully the one underneath is better. Is that a red? No, it's not, is it? No, that one's not. Oh, okay. So we've got two ships that are... Uh, we're going to kind of go... I guess we're going to move straight down the middle of them. Jeez, mm. um, okay, then. So that is... Uh, I've got... Explore. It, yeah, explore. Choose two of the following. Fight a walrus, get plus one brawn, which I can't move up anyway. Um, I thought I went to spear a fish, but obviously not. Oh, yeah, no, hunted. You've gone on the fish. Oh, or perform a hunting. Uh, was you on the wrong... Did you go that one thinking it was spear a fish? No, I went to three because I thought it was a hunting. But it's just. No, no, it's just perform a hunting check. On a result of 10 plus, read that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to perform a hunting check. Uh, which is going to be really low. On a 10 plus, I get something. Nope. <laughs> oh, I'm going to re-roll. Why not? Let's go for it. Nope. Okay. 7, 8. Yeah, that was rubbish. <laughs> okay. Um... That was not great, and then I'm gonna get one treasure. Screw it. I should have probably. Ah, oh, I should have done that first. Okay. Uh, then it is on to Jessica. You're doing Captain Quarters, so cross off Captain Quarters, and then tell me the number. Zero four it's six. Zero four six. Awesome. Right, let's go for See it. See them over there. 
Captain Vance asks, pointing down at the foamy bilge. The devil are those? You gasp. Large black fish skip along the surface of the water, bones sticking out like spikes, jagged yellow teeth jutting out of their maws. There must be dozens of them. Those be grim snappers, says Vance in a tone that tells you you're getting honest-to-goodness pirating know-how. Despite their gruesome appearance, he continues, for the most part they just keep to themselves. The captain points at his peg leg and says, Unfortunately, I didn't catch one on a good day, and it took me leg clean off. Why were you in the water with them? You chide. A few years back, I had to test out a theory. They said snappers turn colors if they get near real magic. I had some jewels I had bought from a psychic, who swore up and down that there was still magic left in them. For a moment, I swore I thought I saw the creature turn green, but instead he just ate me leg. <laughs> Anyways, drop a net on these bony gits while they're still following us. <laughs> Supplies plus two, which I've done, and Jess, you get a skill of your choice. Um, what would you like? Maybe do that one that you've already crossed out so you, you fix it. Were well, there stars under that, by the way? The first one there was, the second oh, one. Oh, okay. Wasn't. Did but she it, take it? Oh, yeah, she did do the first yeah. one. Yeah, it was just, um, just I would do that just to fix her board, sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, so that's that done. Um, right, then it is on to you, Jade. You're sailing. Oh, so, am. navigation plus one. Oh, yeah, so navigation. <laughs> so I've got five, five there. And then perform a navigation check. Eleven, so that's sixteen. Oh, that's the highest you can get. Infamy plus two, where you're as high as it gets. You may spend supplies and hull to move the ship. For every two supplies or one hull, move the ship one space. I think we should go straight to the ocean's edge personally. Well Well it would cost you two hull and we can go straight. I there. have also got this, okay. right, that so it it lets me move an additional one space. Oh, oh. Three of costs. So, so one hole. Do one. And we'll move and straight then I'll through. Go, yeah, straight there. Excellent. Okay. And then if I do 802. 802. Uh, threat plus one. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, then we got constellation events. We've all got one, haven't yeah. we? So starting yeah. with the highest in for me. So, me. Jade, you do yours first. What do you get for, as a reward? Just put that back up in a second. Right. So, retrieve card. 30, fake moustache from the story deck. A moustache, a moustache. If I don't drop the cards on the floor, that'd be a really good start. Uh, 49, 48. Okay, what number? 30. Yeah. Okay, that gives you... Oh, plus three, plus three swagger and an exploration. Which is good. Um, anything maybe, else? Maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's fake moustache. Maybe it's a fake moustache. <laughs> Uh, did you get anything else from yours, no? No. Right, Jess, cross your next one off and tell us what you open get. Open it up. This one? No, open it up. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, your next constellation event. Uh, flip all cannons to their loaded sides. <laughs> nice, Jess. Woohoo. Uh, uh, is that your third one? That is her third one. Yeah, so circle that. That was epic. Uh, right, and then my next one is... Um, I get... Supplies plus two... Flip a cannon to the unloaded side if able. Ah, oh, no. So I'm just uh, level one. one. Yeah, that can go back down. <clears throat> ah, so Jess loads them all and then oh, I flip them all down. One, yeah. What's going on there? Round, yes, yes, it did. What's and this? It's 977. 977, there we go. Is clearing stone written on yes. the ship's log, Jess? It is because uh, I got it. Yep, clearing stone. Okay, here we go. After days of sailing, the ocean's edge comes into clear view. It is a massive, hazy wall of roiling water and howling wind. Thing coming now. But you spot a massive ship flying the colors of the Royal Navy, positioned between you and the edge. That's the flagship for the crown! Someone shouts. We have to run. If we turn around now, we might not be spotted. Nonsense! Captain Vance has fire in his eyes and the clearing stone in his arms. We sail for the ocean's edge. If Captain Razor stands in our way, then it's to Davy Jones locker with him. As you approach the ship, you see the royal sailors and Captain Razor, the most feared man in the Royal Navy, standing on the prow, looking pleased to see you. The ship gets close enough for you to hear Razor shout out, I'll be having that stone, Vance, and your heads. Oh. Remove special location 962 from the game. 962? 
Yep, yeah, this one. Oh. Um, so remove it from the game. And then it says, turn to page 57. Set the dial to uh, dial A to 10. Yeah, I'm uh, What there. number? 57. Um, then set dial B and C to 5. No pressure. <laughs> right, we've got we've got a big thing uh, to deal with. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah. 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 Jess, are you ready? Is it me on two, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, you're getting both. Okay. Three, two, one. Start the timer. Uh, we've got the event hole. The hole needs to go, but. Okay. So guard the captain and. Guard the, the captain. Cannon. Okay. Are you going to load cannons, Jess? What would what would you like to do? Um, I will I think do this. Okay, and I am going to fire the cannons. Oh, why did I go load cannons when you got one to load? Oh, I don't know. That's all right, because we can use them. Uh, right, go on then, Jade. Load cannons. So, choose two of the following. Spend one supply to flip a cannon from its unloaded side to its loaded. Yep, let's do that. Yep, okay. Uh, and then infamy plus one or reroll plus one. You might as well get a reroll because you're already on high infamy. Right, then I am going to fire the cannon. So I'm going to choose what we got. The. I would suggest maybe doing enemy the enemy hole. No, the enemy hole's on ten. <clears throat> yeah, but what's the what's the captain? Uh, no, okay, I will choose. Well, first I get aim plus one, but oh, that's as high as it gets. <clears throat> do you know what? Yeah, I think I will go for the hole because I might. Well, can I do it by three? Yeah, okay, I'll go for the hole. Can we not flip one of these? <clears throat> Um. Yeah, so I've got five. There's a seven, three, six. or five. I've got at least six, and we need six. Um, I will. So yeah, I don't know which one to use. I don't know whether to use the seven because that put me on thirteen straight away. Yeah, go on then. I'll use the seven. I'm going for the hole. Let's go for it. So what did I say? I'm on thirteen. Plus seven is twenty. Reduce the target by three, so that can go down to seven. And infamy plus three. Oh yes, so I get to the top. <laughs> uh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Right then, this is this is Jesse. Um, so Jess, you get navigation plus one. Navigation plus one, so you get a star. Okay. Uh, then perform a navigation check and subtract the value of dial B from your result. Ah, oh, so I should have gone for Dolby. Jess, so re roll the roll the um, die. Yeah. Also navigation. One. Is it? Eleven. Oh, eleven. Let's right, eleven, again. and then subtract five. So that's six or less. Whole minus one. But our um. But the dial A is reduced by one, so that's not too bad. Oh, the thing. Right, and then J navigation plus one. Oh, I can't take that anyway. Hmm? I can't take any more navigation. Okay. And then perform a navigation check. And then uh, subtract the value of dial B from your result. Right, so it's two. That's seven. I could do a re-roll. Yeah, please. Because otherwise you're not going to get hardly anything. Okay, what have you got then? Uh, ten. Ten. Ah. Fifteen. Now, this says discard 15. to add three to result of all players for this round. Do we need oh. to add three? Uh, no, I wouldn't do. I would have done that for. I mean, ages like at the oh, beginning of this round. Sorry. So what we got? Fifteen, and then minus five is ten. ten. So whole minus one, reduce dial A by two, and your infamy goes up by plus one. Ah, you just kicked me out of last spot. Right there you go. Okay, and then eight two seven. So we we've got a big battle now. Eight two seven. Here we go. Is dial A at zero? No. No. Is dial C at zero? No. No. The attack. Roll a die and add the value of dial B to the result. So Jess, you can, you can roll it and then add B. Eleven. Oh, sugar. <laughs> it's loads. Yeah. Right. Reduce whole crew and supplies by a total of five, and then reduce dial C by two. Begin a new round on this page. So, whole crew supplies. Hmm. By five. Well, can we just do... Should we do that by two? Yeah. That by two? Yeah. And maybe that by one? Yeah. Or, no, in fact, that one. Because that one was going down pretty quick yeah. last time, wasn't it? 
begin a new round. Oh, right, so we've got a new round to do. Are we ready? Yeah. I think maybe a couple of us should fire cannons. In fact, how many have we got? We've got two loaded. I can go and load oh, right. one. Hang on, three, two, one. You want to load one? Someone's okay. got a guard then, captain, sorry. Oh, then it's me. I reckon we should uh, I reckon we should fire fire cannons. Do you want to fire a cannon as well, Jess? Yeah. Yeah? <clears throat> so right. that way we're shooting so at them. Done, done. Go on, then click it. Cool. So, Jade, you're loading the cannon. Yes. You get two of the following. Spend a supply to flip one. Yeah, I'll spend a supply to flip this one. Okay. Uh, infamy plus one. Well, you're already top, or you get a reroll. So, I'll get a reroll. Yeah. Okay, so that's Jade's done. Uh, right, I'm next for firing a cannon. So, I'm going to fire... I think mine's slightly higher. So, I'm going to do the plus five. So, if you could flip me the five. Yeah. Uh, plus that makes it ten. Eleven. So I've got 11 plus a die. Okay, here we go. 10, 21. 21. Right, oh, I was going for the hole. So reduce it by 3, and I get infamy plus 3. So that's down to 1. Yep. Uh, and then Jess, you get to fire. So what are you going to fire at? Um, well, if she fires at that, that could be go down to 0. Which means we'd sink it. Yeah, oh, do that wait, one. Does that mean like... Plus seven to your yeah. Right, so aim it at that one. So then what she got to do? No, hang on. First is she gets aim plus one. So what's your aim? Her aim is two. But yeah. Plus. Cross, I don't know why I keep putting the lid on it. Just yes, put the cross on. <laughs> it's the same thing we've been doing. Okay. On aim. Yeah, on one aim. aim. So she's got three. Plus and a die roll. And then if she has this, yep, that'll make it that. ten. Ten plus a die roll. Who are you gonna aim at, Jess? She already said a. Oh a. And then roll the die. Roll the die. Seven. So she's done it, hasn't she? 17. Reduce target by two, yeah. and she gets infamy plus one. Right, so that is that one done. Nicely done, Jesse. Well, we still got to play out the rest of the round, because, yeah. Jade, you've got to guard the captain. Guard the captain, So yeah. navigation plus one. Can't get navigation. Okay. Uh, roll the die. Two, two. so that's seven. Seven. Uh, I can re-roll. Yeah, I would. <clears throat> right, so seven... Uh, 17. 17 minus 5. It's 12. Okay, so hole minus 1. Uh, reduce dart A by 2 and infamy plus 1. So you've just put yourself back into middle place, which isn't too bad. Uh, and yeah, then reduce dial A, was it? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's already done. Uh, right, round end, 8 to 7. Here we go. 8 to 7. Is dial A at 0? Yes. Oh, there we go. You cannot believe your eyes as Razor ship begins to sink beneath the waves. The moment you are safe from Razor, Captain Vance grabs the ship's wheel. You watch as Captain Razor's crew members jump ship while yours drifts into the magical mist before you. You're unsure who is more doomed. But as your ship crosses past the ocean's edge, sailing into that mist, your vessel is not harmed, though it begins to make a terrible creaking noise. Steady now, cries Vance. Rogue waves! Comes a voice from the crow's nest, and indeed your hearts sink as massive waves coming from either side tower over your ship. The crew shrieks in terror as the two waves curl in to crash down upon you. But the crash doesn't come. And looking up, you see the waves have met each other and now form a perfect tunnel of water through which you sail. The tunnel ends in utter darkness, but Vance unveils the clearing stone, and lo, you now sail a black sea from which rises a towering column of sculpted stone. It resembles a monkey with glowing red eyes. Its hands are held out as if awaiting an offering. The ship passes alongside it, and Captain Vance tosses the clearing stone into its cupped hands. Lightning stabs the sky as a storm rolls in at impossible speeds. A glow appears deep within the waters. It spreads as if another sun rises up from the depths, and your ship is tossed about on monstrous waves. Strange shapes begin to emerge in the water. In the distance, you see enormous tentacles break from the surface and thrash about. Something else, a winged beast the size of an elephant, bursts up from the water and begins flapping away into the storm. Lights of all manner of color shoot up from below and zigzag into the air. There's a sound, like a horn blowing. And then suddenly, everything goes black. 
When you come to, heaven knows how many hours later, the sky is bright and blue, and your ship, with no one at their post, is sailing past an island. A quadruple rainbow hangs on the horizon, and you look at each other, marveling at the sights and sounds. Is this the world beyond the edge? Someone asks. But something about the island seems familiar to you. I'm not sure. Someone else answers. Perhaps it is. Or perhaps this is the world we've always known. Only now, it is changed. Captain Jesbit J. Vance is nowhere to be found. You spend days searching the surrounding waters, but all you find is a piece of paper hidden in his hat that he left behind. It bears the lyrics to an old children's song that goes, One day I'll pass the ocean's edge to be a pirate true. I'll find a world to be me home with me own loyal crew. I'll ride upon the endless waves and find all treasure new. I'll live the pirate's life one day and bid this world adieu. So, yeah, congratulations, you've completed this adventure. Return all the purple cards to the treasure deck. Yeah, that's so if we were playing another one, um, starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise, oh, each player sure. resolves their constellation tokens, which we don't have any, I don't think. No, but we do have the... Then consult the ending chart on the player sheet and read their indicated. Now, out of interest, how many constellation events did you do? Four. <clears throat> how many did you do, Jess? I did... Three. Three. So, Jade is the only one that has won. How many did you do? Three. I was almost at a fourth. <clears throat> so Jade, Jade won. Anyway, so on the back, um, we're going to read our endings. For, in fact, are we? Because we want to go for a walk before it gets dark, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Um, These but, are quite long, look, actually. Yeah. So, basically, because Jade had done four of her um, goals... She is the only one that won. Um, but there we go. That was uh, the scenario. We would read our endings um, and then see where our characters end. But do you know what? You guys can use these sheets and read your own stories or, uh, when you play the game yourself, if you ever do. What we do is when we do our next stream, we could say, we went for a walk when we did for Forgotten Mortis, <laughs> but we're going to read our stories. Possibly. Uh, that's if we... I don't know if we're doing anything else today. We will see. Because yeah. we have got tickets right, haven't we? So we might want to do a video of that. Anyway. Uh, so, yes. That's it. There we go. That was that was the event. And, and, and that was amazing. Yes. So what we could do is we can go back. And uh, if we were to play again, we, we you know, we would do Witch's Heart, uh, Dead or Alive... Spoils of the Damned, yeah, there's some more scenarios there. They're all voiced as well, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I think if you wanted extra ship or player sheet, another another website of some kind. Oh, yes, there you go. Sends you to the played hat. That was a good uh, game. There you go. Got some... Let's put... Oh, you know, one day maybe we'll be one of these guys. The Dice Tower and the Shut Up and Sit Down and all the, the decent... Uh, Guys will be up there one day. But anyway, oh, there you go. Houseboat. Of course he's there as well, Mr. Rodney. Um, there we go, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if this is your kind of thing, if you quite like the idea of us doing campaign stuff, let us know. Uh, in the meantime, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Uh, in the description below is a link to our Patreon page where you can support us for as little as one pound. Yes. We are trying to improve the streams yes, so we, we can are. do um, things like this. Uh, and maybe we can look at getting some other games that mm -hmm. we could play as well. Uh, yeah, and in the meantime, guys,